Yeah. Are we done, Pam? Okay, was that Stacy? <laughs> Guilty. Six o'clock. Have to be separated. Yeah, no. All right, let's go. We'll call a order review uh, to order for the Village of Weston. We could all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. And let's see, roll call. Kalani. Here. Tsunami. Here. Cronin. Here. Emily. Here. Hardinger. Here. Pensfield. Present. Wyland. Here. And uh, I'd like to uh, move to a, have someone adjourn to the board and review to June 27th, 2023 at 5 p.m. Second by Ermeling, second by Cronin. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Number five, Board of Trustees. could do that twice tonight. Mm -hmm. Board of Trustees, uh, Village of Weston, meeting to order. And roll call. Maloney? Here. Sagami? Here. Cronin? Here. Hermeline? Here. Hardinger? Here. Insinault? Present. Wyland? Here. We're off to a good start. Public comments. Anybody on social media? Oh, anybody out there? YouTube? Do you have anything for public comments or anything? No. So third request, we have one, uh, got one. comment that uh, Trustee uh, Corner is going to read it. I think the rest of the board got this email over the weekend, but I'm just going to read it into record. It's from uh, Lynn Maureen, 3803 Sandy Lane, Weston, Wisconsin, 54476. Reads, good morning. I'm writing to you today in regards to the bulk item drop-off. I do not like this program and believe there is a much better solution. The main issue with this program is the increase of waste in our landfills, including environmental consequences of this waste. Another issue with the bulk item drop-off program is that it is impossible for people who do not, do not have access to a truck to transport their items to the de designated disposal location. A better solution to assisting people with their large item waste would be to have a cleanup week. Different areas of the village and town would have different cleanup weeks twice a year, once in spring and again in the fall. Citizens would be able to pick up and reuse recycle items that are set out, which would greatly reduce the amount of waste put into our landfills. Citizens with lower income levels would be able to pick up items they may need at no cost to them. Citizens in cities that have cleanup weeks often collect wood, metal, building supplies, and so on for personal use, repurpose projects, and or to take to recycling centers for extra cash. Having designated cleanup weeks would greatly reduce our footprint on the environment and help our community members that have lower income levels. Larger cities use cleanup week programs successfully. Local areas are utilizing cleanup week programs such as Hatley, Wittenberg, and more. Please consider eliminating the bulk item drop-off program in favor of a cleanup week program. Please feel free to email me with any questions you may have. Thank you, Lynn Murray. Okay. There'll be no discussion. Uh, it's not an agenda size that I think agenda, and we'll have um, staff uh, look at that internally. So I, I think uh, Valerie wants to take a look at that. She was going to be here tonight, and I said, well, it's really not agenda, so we'll Okay, so minutes from previous meetings. Okay. Uh, approval of uh, 418 2023 Board of Trustees meeting. And if you'd like, approval of 426 2023 uh, Special Board of Trustees meeting. Seven and eight. What's your pleasure? Motion to approve. Seven, to, seven and eight. Motion to approve by Ermling. Second. Second by Cronin. Anything on the discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Acknowledge report minutes from boards, committees, and commissions. Number nine, Ad Hoc Public Safety Building Renovations Committee, April 25th, May 2nd, May 9th, all of 2023. Uh, that's, it's, I was, why do I do this one every single time? Okay, so it's basically acknowledging all this. It's, uh, I always think this is reports. So get hung up. Thanks for reminding me, everybody. We move to acknowledge items 9, 12, 13, 14, 18, and 19. Second. Motion by Cronin, second by Pinsonal. Anything else on the discussion? Hearing, up, hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Reports from departments. 21 administrators. Um, my reports on the packet uh, punch list for the uh, Building was included as part of that at the request of Christy Pinsonalt. Um, public safety building project is also bid. Um, I don't believe that we have that on the website yet, but it'll, it'll be referenced on the website, but people would still have to request plans and specs through the bidding services. 
So, so how do they do that? This. I've, I've got a couple uh, local painters that are trying to find it or want to know when. So we can, uh, well, we should be able to get that up tomorrow, shouldn't we? We're not going to be here. Yeah. I thought it was up last week. Going well, on Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Well, so when it, what it, it went out. Post the bid ad. Yeah. What's that? Post the bid ad. I know, but somebody, right. so we need to get just start familiar on. We can send. Do you have their email address? We can also send them the yeah. bid advertisement. So we can do that. Look, how hard is it though? I'm, I'm a local painter, and I, I know this building's gonna get painted. Where do I go to find that? Who do I call to ask? Yeah, usually, if they'd call us, we'd send them the bid ad, and they would, you know. They're usually online sites so they can download all the documents and that way you know who's got bids out um, or the documents. So is it important that we know who has the bids? Yes. Why? In case there's an addendum or agenda. Okay. So that all bidders have the same that information. Makes sense. Okay. And that's all controlled by the um, or I should say coordinated by the architect or the engineer. So I haven't go to who? You, you, which one? So there's a contact for John's group that they can reach directly for each bit. It's in the advertisement, right? And it's in the advertisement. So where do I find the advertisement one more time? If you can, we can send it to you if you want to transmit it to somebody. Okay. And they, they'll great. still, they'll have the, um, then they'll have the information and know who to contact them. I'm just a local guy. Where do I find that advertisement? Without calling, without calling John. Where do I find it advertised? Since so it's advertised, it, it does get put, it, it, it put, it's put in the Daily Herald if they search the, and that's the, our legal requirement is it's in the Daily Herald. Um, so they could search the classified ads there. Otherwise, um, the various uh, contractor sites, um, it's like uh, Bid Express, and there's like six of them that it all gets posted to. So it has those numbers. Um, Before being on this board, would you know how to? Look for a bit. The only reason I do that is because what I used to do. That's what I mean. Okay. So so if you knew, that's good. Okay. Okay. I'm done. All right. Um, Mr. Trustee Pinsnot also asked to do a recap of the building open house. Um, I think it went very well. Um, from my perspective, I don't know what everybody else thought, but had a lot of people come through. We were trying to make a Estimate of how many people did come through. We think it's somewhere in the 350 ish range. Ooh. No, yeah, I'd, I'd say well over five. More than so that. that bit, yeah. I said five. No, I think it's more than five. Yeah, yeah I do too. It depends on five. Well, so how many people did we take, did we take through on tours? I think ours was probably about 60 in the two tours. I would guess. One tour, well, first one was about 40, and second one, about 30 people. Okay. Sean and I had about 100. Okay. Mine was well over 30. It felt like 100. I was trying to hit tennis on. Same. Um, yeah. You too? The two that I was. It was great. It was one just awesome. was, I started out with some um, 15, and then I gained some, lost some, but you know, and my second group was a little bit bigger. I think I counted like 20. I, I thought staff was exceptional. Absolutely fantastic. At, at every level, every spot. Every single one knows the questions were asked and answered and just really good. Just yeah, really thanks. good. I mean, I didn't expect anything different, but it was real. I was actually a little overwhelmed. It was that good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got to echo that. I guess I was impressed with how all the staff took care of their areas mm -hmm. and uh, were able to give people some perspective on this building, especially the mechanic area and the, uh, Garage area, seeing what an improvement that is, safety improvements. You would expect it from some of the senior, uh, you know, staff. But when you see someone that's like Huckstra two years, and uh, CJ was four years, I think, and, and it's like they wanted to do it. It's like they were born to do it. It was just crazy. Yeah. Creamy. That's kind of a cute sideline. Landy Koppel, who had been our mechanic for years, just stood in awe. Yeah. <laughs> So he came outside in the, in the shop, his mouth just dropped, and he just kept looking around, just couldn't believe it. Absolutely couldn't believe it. Yeah. Then he was finding pieces of equipment that he had built or bought. Or sure. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. very positive event. So yeah. thanks for all the support on doing mm -hmm. that. Um, probably should do it again sometime, I would think. I'm free next Saturday. <laughs> well, maybe not quite that. I get some pennies. Yeah. 
Isn't that like, isn't that Memorial Day already? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, there was one other question. I know that Trustee Pinsonell had over the weekend about the uh, concrete floor in the unfinished space. See if that reply today, I know. Um, yeah, it was very vanilla. Um, didn't have a lot of guts to it, but I think there was about 14 questions that I asked and one and a half of them was kind of attempted to be answered. So hopefully we can make a better attempt at that this week or whichever. I think the explanation is that those are not structural cracks. They're not they're not a factor structurally. But still you gotta do something about it. Well we have to address it. Does it exist throughout the rest of it? Is it under the rest of the flooring? Why was there no expansion joint? Was it designed to not have an expansion joint or was it the cut? What's the explanation? I, I think we, we need to right now diagram or photo the, the cracks now to see if more come. Because when I saw the first one, actually one of the, the guests uh, showed it to me and uh, Terry Holmes' son. And, um, and then I found another one. He found three more. I found four more. I mean, there's a lot of cracks up there. So that, I mean, obviously, if, if, if the water, if something happens with water or liquid, where is that going? And there was some quite a bit of water up on that second mezzanine. Yeah, I was I had up on the mezzanine phone, had a bit of water too. Yeah. So I don't know. There's some condensate from those. Uh, yeah, there was. Yeah, but normally, if, they, if that's true, then, um, well, for what, what I do, well, even not a drain, but sometimes there's just that plastic uh, uh, huge area. It's like a pan. But you put the whole unit on there, and it, it it never rises over that inch and a half, and it's able to evaporate. Sometimes, if it's continuous, you put a heater in there, and then you evaporate it out. But but I think those units are all resting right on the cement. So I did ask Roman about that, and he said it didn't show up until last week when, when the right. human air came in. Like, Roman has it has been noted, and I guess that they're looking at doing something. Yeah, that's yeah. Scott well, told now me. it might be more present with summer. Right. Yeah. right, exactly. Yeah, you know, yeah. with the summer, everything's going to carry through. I would just identify those cracks to this point too, to make sure that there's not more growing or, or more are happening. So, yeah. And then, like the stuff that's covered, what else? You know, so there's no basement here. So I would imagine there's, you know, quite a bit of depth here, but that'd be a real stinker if stuff was going up and down. Because I think you, okay. have, you have something in your report about the garage doors that more some of the sides are, are shifting and cause some damage. I'm probably going to have to get some panels replaced because yeah. there was a you know, some expansion of the panels that was causing some interference with the electrical power mm -hmm. supply okay. at the upper level of our, at the top of those garage doors. So we came up with the resolution, but there was some damage to some of those panels. So that's going to get fixed or, re or replaced as well. Okay. So I think you can add it to the punch list as we go. You know. So anything else on that? Um, it had some question about um, transmittal of items that may be discussed or, or proposed to be discussed in closed session at meetings. In the past, as I mentioned, we had never traditionally sent those. I did a little survey of some other municipalities in the area. It's kind of a mixed bag. Depends on the topic of the discussion. So I think it boils down to a case by case, really. And the suggestion is if we have a question, we just bounce it off of the attorney. Um, Wausau apparently relies on their attorney to make the judgment, as do some of the other some of the other municipalities so i don't know if we need to do anything discuss any of this further right now um just kind of an update on what the um practice will be going forward but what's going to not it's not necessarily going to always happen it's just going to depend on a particular topic so if there's a but who decides litigation who, who decides that that would be uh judgment of the attorney really Mm -hmm. would okay. be, because I, I mean, I don't think they're actually, I mean, it's, it, I don't think it really has a cause for it, the judgment. I don't right. think the attorney has to come down with a judgment on it. I think if staff knows, if members of staff know about what's happening, I think the courts know too. Like 60, feet. Although so, I, it just, it makes total sense that right. if, 
we, the seven of us come in blind and only get to hear it at the meeting. It really doesn't matter what the other municipalities say. I don't think uh, the attorney has any jurisdiction over this. I would well, believe unless unless he'll have an opinion. Unless it's something that would be subject to open records. Yeah. And yeah, well, that's in that case, we wouldn't even have cause to go into a closed session. Right, right. I think that's really the judgment he would make. Okay. I, 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 I would just question his judgment that it would actually need to go to an attorney. That's all. I mean, I, I just don't think we could probably it, make it has to. Pretty so. good guess on it ourselves. If it's a litig if it's a matter of litigation, or, or, who's going to make a, a the, the staff will make the judgment? See, I, I the, again, I disagree. Well, if that's making a it judgment, then why, why it can be discussed with the president? Yeah, yeah. Maybe that was what Matt, maybe that's okay. what we should do. All right, I just feel more informed coming in tonight with you know someone that's. I, I agree. It was nice yeah. to be able to yeah. read through yeah. that and have some time yeah. to think about things. Yeah, it, it just takes a lot of the back and forth. Sure, you know we're not sharing. I, I didn't call anybody about it, so mm -hmm. but um, I, I feel more prepared. Okay, good. All right. Um, this other item was supposed to say walking quorum and blank or blind carbon copy. Okay. <laughs> I got fat fingers on a few things over the weekend. Anyway, I, as I admitted, I think I kind of violated the principle and some of the correspondence relative to the um, public safety building committee. Um, I guess under the under the premise that talking about paint colors and such is really not that critical, but we do have four board members that are involved in that committee. And as the uh, attachment, I think, says from the league, when you're talking about items that are going to have some action taken in a public forum, it really should be discussed in a public forum. So just kind of a reminder is really what it is. I, when we send blank carbon copy, it's just really more intended to provide information the board in advance of a meeting, kind of like with closed session stuff or an item that's going to be on an agenda. Well, I think we got so, caught up in it with the labor too this week. You know, so if you just always reply, reply, and no, nothing else, mm -hmm. you won't get caught. So, I mean, in the scope of things that's happening around the country, it seems quite trivial. Right. So, okay. Anything right. to add, Clerk Green? Well, I just, I kind of had, kind of came off my talking to Keith as well, just to make sure that there's never any conversation about stuff, even if you reply and the board is on the BCC, just, you know, when you start making decisions or leading towards a decision, then that can be, uh, that could be a walking quorum and there could be repercussions because of that possibly if it ever comes to that. So we just have to be careful. You should reply to the person. Well, that's, and that's not even it because if you reply and you answer a question and everybody else is on, well, you're saying just reply to the person and leave everybody else just out. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You just have to reply. Say if Keith put something out and I had a question, I, I yeah. reply not, to Keith, I, I do not, no reply BC in everybody. the board, not even BCC in nope, the board. Nope, yep. No, nope. just reply to that. Yep. And it's not a exactly. non board member. Yep. It's just. Well, it's, it's even like attendance. You know, I just put Maloney yes and reply yep. to the one person. Yep, so. exactly. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. All right, that's all I have unless you have, you have some questions. questions for. I just read the report and you had Michael going to say something, or is he going to say that? Well, then I think he's going to cover that under his report okay. or maybe on a separate agenda. Just All right. kind of a heads up. Any questions? Of <clears throat> just circle back. You said it, the bid is published in the Boston Daily Herald. That's where it would be. Yeah, that's a that's our official newspaper. So I'm looking at it right now. There's one for Fond du Lac. There's one for Town of Sherry. There's Fond du Lac. There's Village of Maine. Or does it only go one day? Or what day? It be published on so Thursday. It's the online right now. Is it just Which, a paper copy? They don't put it on digital. I was trying to just publish on last week Thursday. Like it just runs twice or something. Yeah. It should be in the archives, but and it'll be. Doesn't it just seem really hard to get? But doesn't it yeah. seem like yeah. I'm a I'm a local well, here, here I'm a local business and I. I I've got yeah, a really this was a, a conversation we had with John yeah. during this. Yeah. It's like we want to reach out to local people here. And we actually got a kickback on it yeah. because uh, 
it be construed that we're trying to source locally or, or that we're giving people information other people don't have, which I find ridiculous. Um, so the, the six places that it's, it's, it's published on is Dodge, Construct Connect, Bid Tool, Daily Report, Bid Ocean, Builders Exchange. All six of those sites you have to have a profile on. And most of them you have to pay for it. Shouldn't have to. It shouldn't so be that hard. This, I, I, yeah, Michael, if you're able to get it, or I'm sorry, Nate, if you're able to get it published on, or at least a link, or at least a posting onto our our website, because there's nothing most on our website. So, if we can get that, um, get that up and post it. Um, that's actually where it should be, right on our website. Yeah. It should be right front page. Current bids, current. Uh, Services needed, whatever. So, and I, you know, it just it lends me to think that that's why it comes in at six hundred thousand dollars. The law still requires that it goes to the paper, the official paper. What does the law, the statute? Yeah, that's fine. Then fine, do all that. But then why it is in addition to? Why can't it be on our website? Right. Yeah. Okay. No, nobody's saying that we can't put it on our website. Yeah. You know, nobody's, nobody's trying to single out local that. people, but just doing the work that I do, yeah. I would think we would get it for a lot less money versus hiring somebody out of Milwaukee. Yeah. In this belt, you have a section on the website, say project coming up. Yeah. yeah. And they mention those projects. Yeah. They don't go to the detail, mm -hmm. but you know this project is there. Where do I find so, it? Yep. Yeah. I, I even went on the CUNY's website and they don't list their, their bids on there for some reason. You have to contact them directly. So oh, that, yeah. that sounds like it's better access more shenanigans than maybe what John was saying. So, I mean, there's a PPG guy, which I didn't even know what a PPG guy was. But a PPG guy is, has probably texted me, emailed me three or four times. You know, where do we find the bids? It's local. I didn't know what that oh, meant no. until I found out at one of the meetings that it's a paint supplier. Yeah, so are you gonna refer those to us so we can get it to him? Get, so we you said you were gonna you? send me, you said you were gonna send to me you. a link. I'll okay. send that link to him and he can share it with whoever he wants, right? Yep. Doesn't matter. Right, but we have to know if if they're going to bid <coughs> addendums, right? Correct. Yeah, that way, if there's changes, they know yeah. that there's a change. Yeah. 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 Okay. So actually, uh, Michael, if we just post bid on the site with um, CUNY Architects point of contact, that go that way it goes right to them and the invitation for bids. They'll have. So we'll have tracking of it. We should be good there, but we got to get it up. I thought it was on. So. But, but it is out, or it's not? It, it is. Fine. It, it, yeah, if you go to the direct contact, if you go to the Daily Herald, I, I can pull it up that it's on their website. So if somebody was. Yeah, before I pulled up, we're on there. How'd you, how'd you find it? I went to legals, I went to westdailyherald.com, went to legals, and then just typed in Weston and the month of May. So. I ran across most of the ones to pay for or something. Okay, thank you. All right. Yep. All right. So we're uh, on the 22 clerk, right? Or is there more heat? Or... You good? Oh, I'm done. Okay, good. All right. I have nothing then other than what's in my report. Okay. Any questions of uh, clerk? No? 23 finance? I just want to point out that there's the state budget update attached to my report. I thought that was an appropriate place. So if anyone that's interested in what's going on at the state level, I got a couple of links there. Um, currently, it looks like we make it an additional 381000 Okay. Good. And can that be used anywhere or that's designated, has to be used for personnel, has to be used for capital equipment? I'm not sure. I believe it, it has to be used for streets or public safety. Well, yeah, I think they're having that, that's what the that right now. That's a terrible expense to use it for. <laughs> well, the, the only warning is this one does go up, but okay, say you use it as an operating expense. You're using it for something that's going to guarantee to go up three to five percent every year. This 381000 is not guaranteed to go up 3 to 5% of the year. So all of a sudden you incur this operating expenditure that you're covering this with, and we're already short money. Things. So this is something we really need to be aware of when we're using this influx of money on something that we're not going to be able to, it's not sustainable. So it's right. Any more? No? We're good? 
And my apologies to Nate. Uh, let's move the 29th. I had you circled and I actually forgot why I circled it. I have a little time yet. Yeah, but I have a little time yet, but I can oh, go ahead. Um, <clears throat> a bad parking spot. The uh, Kennedy Parks Fields project starts next Monday. Um, so that'll get and going then. Um, and then uh, I guess the other, uh, I noticed there was a request on an uh, update on the access control server, which is for the cameras and the doors. I reached out to them. They let me know that all well, the licensing has been taken care of and they have purchased the server, but they do not know of a, a time yet. Who's going to get back to me if you could find, figure out what. So is that with cameras too? You mean? Yeah. Cameras too? Okay. Oh, I saw the two out here in front. Where? How many more will we have? There's 13 cameras throughout the campus. Outside? Inside and outside. Oh, really? Yep. So how many outside? Uh, there's eight outside and five inside, I believe. Or maybe it's nine and four. I think it's nine and four. Just refresh my memory on how much again? Yeah, access control server was. Yeah, that I was mean, 20, the whole camera system. 21,000. Can you refresh my memory on the parks? Are we installing cameras at all of our parks or just Kennedy? Just, just Kennedy for now. Yeah, for now, yeah. Um, so there will be expanded uh, around the park, the parking lot around the skate park. So there will be not an additional camera there. Um, and then there will be a couple more and more cameras added to the pool area to cover like the bike racks and things like that. And that stuff is accessible by the MPD, right? It will be once we do the training with the, with the, with the camera corner protecting point. Then we'll have like those little white coins. Yeah, we for for the key card access. Yeah, we we have to decide what we want to use. So and identify who's coming in, right? when they come in, when they leave, what door they're coming in or leaving. Yep. And then we'll uh, save for an EPD get them too. With this building? Yeah, I would I would imagine that would probably be a good idea yeah. for access. So yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have to call someone in here. It's just we have access up in Merrill for them. So. Okay. All right, move back to uh, oh, any more? Oh, that's it. Okay, good. Uh, 24, fiery mess, Chief. Uh, I have a report in there. Um, I just want to add one thing. We had a call on Friday. Um, just one discipline that our crews do that not a whole lot of other fire departments do is you know technical rescue, and we're fairly well trained on it. We have several guys that we've sent to Volk Field to get certified training over the years, and it's not calls that we go on often, but Friday afternoon, a neighboring department had an individual that was uh, injured in a silo. Um, so our crews went out there and assisted them and they lowered this individual from about 50 feet down through a confined space. Um, took them a couple hours to set up all the rigging and do everything appropriately, but uh, it was a fairly complex rescue. So our crew did a spectacular job. Everything was done perfect. Nobody got hurt. So uh, just wanted to throw that out there. But other than that, it's pretty much business as usual. Okay. I'm, I'm sure you heard that uh, there was another ladder truck um, approved another one in the area well in ross Trout. oh yeah. yes okay. yes um any more for chief thank you thank you uh 25 park and rec uh so i did have a report in the packet um just a couple items to touch on the pool contractors back today um, so they're gonna fill in the hole and finish off the pool surface replace the safety pads that were under warranty we actually Contacted them last year um, because the uh, pool pads were emanating from themselves, so they're bubbling. Uh, so they're replacing the pool pads, safety pads that we purchased, um, and they expect three days' work there. A um, couple other things. I mean, we did get a call um, from some a resident on River Meadow Drive. There was a rescue on the Eau Claire River yesterday. Um, so there's approximately a 14 year old boy that was kayaking by himself and there's a tree that came down entirely across the river. Um, he came out of the kayak, kayak got pinned underneath the, the tree, um, lost his shoes, lost his wallet, lost his cell phone. Um, a couple of residents helped him and got him out of there. Um, so I did get a call about that. Um, and we're also starting to see an influx to some extent of um, the homeless population coming down here, which we know we had issues a couple of years ago. Um, but with WASA, I met with WASA last Thursday, Wasa Marathon County Parks Director, and they 
literally have put an end to all of it. So if there's a, any sign of an encampment being started, they are completely tearing it down. They're trying to get the homeless any assistance they can, um, but they shut down Parker Stewart Island. They closed down below the Bridge Street Bridge. Um, so literally they put a zero tolerance on encampments in the city of Wasta and the police are enforcing that. So um, we have somebody that's been hanging around already um, and we kind of figured they're gonna move away from areas where the enforcement takes place. So, I mean, we've been kind of expecting it for the last couple months, but didn't know when it's gonna start. And um, if that's an issue we need to discuss in the future. Yeah, we need to Chief, I could just jump you in here. Would all the area departments be on the same level, uh, same thought? Well, it's a matter if you're gonna just follow the park ordinance with closing. That's, and that's what's simple. The park, what? park closes at 11. Okay. It's an ordinance. Um, I think what the city of Wasser ran into is they had things on the books, but were kind of being directed to ignore that. So, but like wooded areas or like that cul de sac out by uh, Brennis gets quite a bit of it. Yeah, we kicked some people out of there last fall. Yeah, it's just been a couple of years. Yeah. Okay. But apparently, that might get some remote housing. So, Jen, maybe? No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. They can go under the bridges. No, cannot. They have access to it. Sure, I know, but they can't stay there. You know, they could go in wooded areas. They can go in people's backyards on the river. Sounds like a good opportunity to maybe get something out on Facebook and alert our citizens that if they see something, they should not hesitate to reach out because our officers can't chase their tail every night checking every location. So well, we're gonna have to get some help on that. Yep. Okay, thanks, Juan. Okay. Uh, I don't have anything additional in the report. If you have any questions, I can answer those. This is a real quick straw vote on who has the best office in this building. <laughs> Would it be Jen? It's Jen. Yeah. I thought Keith might have had it, but no. Hands down. Yeah, that's what's in order to him either. Yeah, yeah. That's true. <laughs> Are you here for a certain item or? Yeah, but I don't want to interrupt the meeting and I see yeah. we were late. We have been out of town for a year, so I didn't know this building was open yet. Oh, okay. I well, came back and I was told by the receptionist, you know, the meeting was at six. Yeah. She'd even make sure I had a couple minutes to talk, but she didn't tell me this is where to come. Oh, okay. So well, we what, to what, un under public comments or where? Well, it's about some taxes that I'm being overcharged on. Okay. Well, I would I would take it up with the clerk's office first. I did. I talked to the uh, I actually talked to the uh, appraiser. All right. And have you talked to Mr. Schmidt? Yeah. Well, I talked to Greg, and his his uh, feeling on the matter was that I'm definitely being charged twenty to twenty two dollars more than I should be, but he blames it on the uh, Stillwater Landing Park as to why I'm being charged so much. Okay. Can we get that on the agenda for next time? Be board of review. Yeah. Um, why don't um, if you want to have some contact with staff here, we can get that back on the agenda, and then you won't have to come under public comment. Okay. So, and then we meet every uh, the third Monday of every month. Okay. So six o'clock here so, now. Yeah. Now that I know where to come. Yeah. yeah. There you go. So sorry about that. Well, that's a, I was trying to get you in, and I want to get through the section, but then when you started leaving, I thought I'm gonna. Well, yeah, because I'm reading through the agenda, and it's like yeah. okay, that sixty items, and I know that. Yeah, it's, it's quite a bit. But no, that. I just wanted to bring it up. So good. we'll get you on the next one. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Have a good evening. All right. You also. Thank you. thank you. Any more? Yes. No. Okay. No drapes and stuff up there. Keep that sun up. Yeah, okay. Just wonder. I'm sorry. I'll let, I'll let it go. Uh, 27. Uh, we have five openings. We have a mixture of conditional versus full offers out to the five had backgrounds that have passed or working on the other three backgrounds right now. When two can experience can start in June, that'll be helpful. Um, we had three overdoses, none resulted in deaths last weekend that um, our detective bureau came in for and didn't know where the drugs were coming from. It was heroin laced with fentanyl. And um, if we traced it back to Corona Letter, we did a search warrant in Corona Letter. Got more drugs out of that residence. Um, there's been some hot batches going around. Wasa had another overdose, so 
some of these hot batch just too much fentanyl yeah it's too much fentanyl so bad just mix. a little heavy on yeah the fentanyl wow bad um, i can't even believe i said that a little too and, spicy yeah so the the individual we arrested out of colonel Leonard had um, been out on bond for other charges and had a litany of felony charges and got out on a signature bond after spending all the time so i've made a few comments and posted that link on our facebook page of my disappointment with um, all our efforts, and then the judge lets them all without cash bond whatsoever. So that's all I have. Unless there's any questions. So this weekend, I was driving around a little bit after the tour, and then Sunday, uh, um, a little bit more traveling uh, out of town, but uh, in and out of the village here. Um, four times I found our officers in spots I've never seen them before. And you too. And I thought, oh my God are they on me you know every time and every time i i caught them my wife usually sees them before me and i thought oh i'm, I'm doing the right to motor speed oh i got my seatbelt on everything is good you know but i thought wow they're finding some good spots so that's good so i won't tell anybody yeah i know <laughs> I, I i will admit to everybody i speed and i speed a lot so you got this yep. little button on your car it's, <laughs> it's uh my Where button my button says zoom and i zoom all right so please thank you chief uh, public works my pleasure. Um, so we had uh, a pre-construction and a public information meeting for Northwestern Avenue last week. Um, There's probably about 10 residents that came to that. Um, I'm curious what their access is going to be like. Most of that work will be done under traffic, so people will still be able to get in and out. But uh, if you don't live there, I guess the preference would be go to town line and uh, go around. Um, so that the bulk of that work should be the week of uh, May 22nd. They'll pulverize the existing road and should have at least one, if not both, layers of asphalt on by the end of that week. Um, so that'll be a, a quick one. We have the authorizing resolution for Weston Ave on the agenda packet. Um, we had that meeting previously, and again, there's I think two residents that attended that one, so it wasn't uh, that highly contested. Um, I think any other highlights? Uh, we have we do have the salt shed out for bid right now. Um, there's three versions of it. Um, it's the same footprint. It's just a different foundation. Uh, since the various uh, manufacturers of these buildings have, I don't know if it's necessarily a proprietary foundation design, but they're all slightly different. So um, in order to make it so all of them are eligible bidders, there are three three versions of um, that bid that are out. Uh, those are due on the 25th. I know there's a question about the parking lot striping. Um, that wasn't included in Myron's scope. We figured we'd be doing that as part of our general uh, line painting. Um, by the time the asphalt was down last year, um, it wasn't warm enough to get it in. So um, initial estimate was about $2,500 for, for a contract to perform that cost. Uh, if you talk to John Yonker um, on Saturday, he mentioned we have our new line striper. So um, part of me was wondering if that wouldn't be a good opportunity to uh, try that out and um, in our own parking lot i would wait a while I, yeah. I i mean i don't know if this is this parking is going to work with all the ins and outs and over here and maybe on the north side too i think we need to talk a little bit more about elections sure and possibly more parking so i i would hold off on the paint on my personal opinion i would hold off on the paint we don't seem to have too much trouble right now but definitely when we, time comes to have john do it Sure. It looks like a beast. Okay. Yep. Uh, the DOT is looking to hold a meeting here on Wednesday, the 24th. That seems to be what works for them. And um, I, I guess kind of what Rothschild and Schofield, I, I know not everybody here has availability that day, but um, I think it's trying to get during the day or in the evening. I think it's a 530 start time. Just the general census or on business 51? Well, what? Yeah, on the business 51 kind of reconstruction and the, um, I guess, agreement that they're trying to get us to sign. Would you be able to call in at all or no? I could possibly, I can see. Okay. I'm gonna check. Um, one thing is before they were saying they want us to take over the road. Mm -hmm. That the only thing we can do, we take a look at the expense, see if we can afford it or not, and we respond to it. Mm -hmm. well, I think that's the way we should tell them that then 
because I don't think we can afford to have the wrong just right. that. I agree. So the best thing is to look at it and then respond to him and write and say, this is too expensive, we can't do it. Yeah. Can I add one more thing when Michael's done? Sorry. Right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and uh, I guess in here, I did mention that uh, Stacy Gilmeister has uh, joined our team as our new utility clerk. Uh, and then we had, we had two people accept um, the offers for the two openings we have on the street crew. On Friday, one of those said that uh, when they turned in the resignation, they were given an, I guess, a return offer from the current employer that was too good to pass up. So we got one coming and uh, we're looking for one more. Where, where was the one that got the reoffer? Uh, uh, Marathon City. Okay. Then uh, there's a question too about the blinking light or the school zone lights. Um, had a meeting at uh, West Elementary with uh, Officer Shrem, uh, the uh, principal uh, Ziegel Bauer, and a couple other people. And uh, when I mentioned we were going to be installing the lights, I was told to hold off because they wanted to get um, the speed trailer out there and see if they could get traffic counts and speeding to just see then if once we install that light, if that if that in and of itself does enough to try to calm people down, or then if there would be another step of, um, I guess, enforcement or redesign that we'd be looking at there, so. Why, um, why have they um, introduced uh, uh, children pick up again in the afternoon off of Camp Phillips? Yeah. Uh, that's a major, major bad move. Yeah, uh, it sounds like starting next year, that's all gonna go away. Yeah, but it was away. It, it was it away. It was, so the parents must have bitched that they couldn't back up enough on the other one, which was what it's designed for. Yeah. And now it's, it's absolutely critical that they can't park there. Yeah, Roman sure, talked. Sure. Roman yeah. talked to them after the meeting the last time because I had asked about it uh, because it's supposed to go away. It was approved um, not to have that. Um, it was asked during COVID to be left because that's when they were doing the improvements there. Um, when Jason Jablonski dropped off those development agreements in Stormwater for the school district, we talked to him and he went over and talked to the. Um, principal because the principal must have started letting them do that so they were gonna stop it yeah so it shouldn't yeah. be happening anymore yeah you, if you see uh, camp phillips i mean it's just you see the car you think it's moving mm -hmm. and then you realize it's actually in the second block and then you the, the brakes are just it's unbelievable i can't if they were it. only using it for like the disabled buses there's like two of them no, it's all cars well, i know it's cars now but the, yeah. they said the principal it was only one well, yes it was yeah. many so that's what it was supposed to be so he was telling the there's no there's no parking signs are there to hold it so yeah. Yeah. but it should be taken care of next yep. year we own those signs though right michael we own the signs yep they're here so, they're in the building we're like ready to go install them and they told me no 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 don't do that quite yet so that's a mistake that's a mistake i just hope nothing happens because that's why a is big it mistake why is it, up to one them? One. it ain't up to them and it ain't up to the county either why is it up to them she said uh, jamie said oh they, they just want to see how effective it would be so to try to get some data with the signs not up and you know as, as we look at you know our, would those solve the problem because they're looking at a whole safe routes to school. They got a grant from the state to look at how to improve is the school or the school the district. district. Yeah. They got a grant from the state to look at improving walkability and I guess around the elementary school. So I guess we're looking at what the, you know, is it a, is it a redesign of an intersection? Is it, you know, better signage? Is it, you know, support for more crossing guards? You know, what, what is a solution to try to make that, um, you know, in particular, the Sternberg Camp Phillips intersection better. So well, crossing guards can't stop. I mean, yeah. they can they can be standing there. They can get run over along with some kids. Yeah. And uh, it's well, I'll tell you, they barrel through there. I go through there a lot, and it's I can't believe the people pass me all the time. And we only have a little bit of yellow there now. So I'll get the speed trailer out tomorrow. Yeah. You you, oh you go over to St. Anne's, and that's some serious stoppage on mm -hmm. St. Anne's over there. Holy crap! I wouldn't even think about going through there over 10 miles an hour. So you don't see anything in two weeks, that's enough. Yeah, less than that, that. that. Right, right. But I mean, from now to the end of school is two weeks ish. That yeah. should be enough of a window for them to get some good data to see well, yeah. that, that we can get these things installed in spring or over the summer. So yeah. it's not like we ordered them in September and they're still sitting on the shelf. Yeah. We're not going to bounce signposts in January. Yeah, I was hoping to get them up before the end of school year so we could. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
that's fine. Summer school starts in Yeah. Yeah. See if you had something. If Michael's, I done. can be done. Yeah. Unless you have any other questions. More. Um. Go ahead. So you're officially done. I'm done. <laughs> so was I once. Uh, third week of May is National Police Week. We are hosting a local memorial service at our building on Friday at 10 a.m. We need 30 minutes. Um, so if you're available and want to stop in, see it's supposed to rain. We have a contingency to be in the uh, our bay parking lot. So just want to throw that out. Okay. Thank you. And Mike Grody. I'd be there. I'm going. So I think I totally ready. Mike Rody on Saturday, right? <clears throat> okay. I think we got through uh, Mark. Yep. If I could, I have one more thing. Sure. Uh, just just to make everybody aware. So the grass outside is obviously long, a little out of control. Um, the landscape company is responsible for the maintenance of it for the first 30 days after the plan is signed off on. So they're actually responsible for the mowing at this point and it hasn't been signed off yet. So they could be responsible even longer. So um, just in case you notice it and want to comment about it, um, it's actually their responsibility at this point, especially if you see the north end. Um, it's probably that tall right now. I just thought it was no more me. <laughs> I just thought those poor kids, I hope they have their epic and all the bees that we're saving. It. So I just wanted to make sure you're aware that you're actually responsible. So clean up in there? Was that? Maybe some cleanup has to be done. Oh, for that? sure. Yeah. You you do that? <laughs> well, the landscaping has not been signed off on yet, based on what I've been told. So they need to take care of whatever yeah. is in the contract yet. Yeah. Yeah. Revise? Revise? Revise, yeah. Okay. Uh, work if you notice, we did a little mowing prior to the open house, just a little bit right at the front, but it was just to make it look a little nicer. Don't file a citizen complaint right now, though. <laughs> yeah, you know, and I shouldn't be such a stinker, but are we going to concentrate on not mowing into the um, into the street? Is that kind of a do we kind of practice that or don't we? We do. Okay. Uh, so Schofield Avenue specifically from Birch to Normandy, we mow that. Um, we use a mower with the collection system on it because um, we've had. In the past, I mean, you vote towards the sidewalk or the businesses, or you vote in the street. You're basically, you know, and then you have to blow sidewalks up yet. So we've been mowing it with our walker mower, which is a collection system. Um, so we don't have those issues. And then even around the hospital, we tend to blow it towards the sidewalk and then blow the sidewalks off. It doesn't look so much nicer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It doesn't get in the drains. Uh, work product transmittals 30 and 31 acknowledge April building permits and acknowledge April budget status. If you care to do them both together or separate, looking for acknowledgement. We'll do acknowledge 30 and 31 consecutive. Second, that's all. And second by Bushin Azagami. Anything else on the discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Consent <clears throat> agenda. What's the pleasure? To approve 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. By Ermeling? Second. Second by Zagami. Anything else on the question? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Ordinances 42. Ordinance 23-011, an ordinance to amend provisions within Chapter 94 of the Municipal Code affecting rural, open space, and residential district lot dimension and intensity standards, non-residential di district density and intensity standards, and building orientation design standards for multifamily and non-residential buildings. Motion to approve by Cronin. Second, Second by Weiland. Anything on the discussion? Yes. Uh, number two. Uh, number one and number three are perfect. Number two, I just have a concern that it, it we lower the square footage for B2, but we would change the use of B2. So I don't know if we need to peel that piece out or bring that back or look at that a little closer that are any of these uses that are in B2, will that impact anything by changing that minimum lot size? I don't believe it will. Oh, yeah. Will that be enough for you? Uh, yeah, no, I, I'm a no, but okay. All right. Um, any more in discussion? 
Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Okay. So one day noted. Okay. Uh, 43, resolution 2023-010, authorizing resolution for special assessments for Western Avenue, uh, specifically Ryan Street to County Road J. Moved to approve. Moved to approve by Zagami. Second. Second by Hardinger. Anything on the discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Unfinished business. 44, update and possible action on American Rescue Plan, ARPA funds. It's just a placeholder. We don't need to talk about it, but if we want to, go ahead. You go ahead. first. I was going to say, we, I, I mentioned somewhere in here about the uh, asbestos survey that's done at the old facility. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be meeting with a, a maintenance contractor here uh, probably this week. Give this some ballpark idea what the budgetary uh, um, level would be of. Um, Moving that material from that building, there was 5,000 square feet identified in the shop ceiling and about 200 square feet in uh, on a floor covering in the older part of the building. So it's not a huge amount. I don't know what's going to be all involved in the abatement, but uh, thinking that maybe that's a good use for the funds. What was the company that found this? I'm who, sorry. Who was the company? REI. That found oh, okay, good. Okay. Um, I've got a comment I'd like to make on this. Is there's one thing I've noticed this spring, just being out and about with my kids, it's that our parks look very tired and and dated. And I wonder if some of this money could be used to invest into our into our parks in a, in a lump sum or. Um, I'm sorry. Did we use some of it for the Kennedy? Uh, I guess the draft for the master plan. The master plan. Master plan. Yeah. For the plans, yes, but I'm talking, I mean, you know, playground equipment, oh, yeah. things of that nature that need to be replaced. Um, something else I thought of tonight was when we brought up the, the discussion about the security cameras and it's only going at Kennedy. I was at Robinwood a couple of weeks ago and I, I messaged, I didn't text Sean, but there was some vandalism there that he hadn't actually noticed yet the day that I was there. So the vandalism, the vandalism in my opinion, isn't limited to just Kennedy. So maybe another option would be using some of these funds to get part to get cameras at some of our other parks as well that we notice have ongoing problems. <clears throat> what, is, what is the but uh, what are we at? What do we have left in there fund right now? Yeah. We haven't committed much of anything yet. So we have Sean, a where are you at with the pool? Uh, as far as repairs? Yeah. Uh, so we had originally allocated forty thousand for the repairs. And then last December, another 40,000 was authorized for the repairs. And that should complete everything that needs to be completed as far as the pool leak repairs. So um, this is current then? I believe there was there's some funds allocated for the uh, security cameras. Yep, that's right. Mm -hmm. um, so there's upgrading the security cameras at the aquatic center and then uh, expanding at Kennedy. Uh, we had talked about other locations. I mean, but the feasibility of placing cameras in some of these sites where there's no internet access. Um, the proposal showed some, you know, like a rental of a portable trailer for security. Um, and at that point, it was decided just to move forward with Kennedy stuff and then the aquatic center. Okay. Um, and then Chief was talking about some of the uh, traffic cams. Right. But there's some new technology, or not new, but technology that's probably better than just getting the normal camera system out there to um, improve that or actually put something out there. Um, Keith, is this, is this current? 1.4? 1. 1. I, I see total available 1.8. Well, I don't know if this has been updated, but. Well, 1.8 is the budget estimate. Uh, that's, that's total not... available, Jess? So as of 12:31 of 22, we have 1,857,346. Okay. okay. Available. Yes. And that's with the allocation of 440,000 to each. Well, EMPD and Safer, that's already gone, right? Well, 220. That earmark. So Safer is not gone yet. Everest Metro is. I got most. I think I got some of Safer gone. Still need yeah. to. Probably need like a balance sheet of everything that's been kind of spoken for and set aside, and then what we actually have available. Yes. It's right here. Yeah, I think it should be idea. updated. You're right. Yeah. I, I, I think, think that's a good idea. It hasn't been updated. Okay. 
It's been updated at some point, but I think right. there's a couple of things that were approved recently that didn't get reflected in here yet, probably. Okay. I also, I also, another thing I'd like, that item number seven on here, prepare site at 5500 Schofield Avenue. I don't know if this ARPA funds are the best source of funding for that, for a project well, like that. You know, I guess my point of view on, on all this is we're going to get done with this and we're not going to have anything to show for it. Correct. That's a, that's a big deal for me. All right. So yeah, I went to public safety, you know, for 220 each, but then it went to just, you know, little incidentals, a little cost here and there. It should be a neat feeling if, if, if some really good, happy stuff went like to the parks. Yep. And uh, and not wait, you know. So we get this uh, survey back, and well, this would be a nice influx if we could push it. I think I think the thing I push for is that it should affect everybody. It can't be a water project because so, some people are on sewer water, but the mm -hmm. parks can affect everybody. And the parks, I mean, you know, talking about a feel good about this community. Well, let me tell you, Saturday was a feel good here. That's for damn sure. But the parks, that's a feel good. I, I mean, that's a that's a good thing. That's going on here. The bike trails. I mean, I heard tons of comments about, you know, can that can the bike trail go to Wausau, you know, on the train tracks. I mean, I, I had no idea what she was going to talk about. I, I actually met with uh, Jamie Polly uh, on Thursday, okay. the Boston Marathon County Parks Director, and they actually have a push to finish the Mountain Bay from Mesker to Camp Phillips. Oh, okay. Um, and then beyond that, if they're off, Camp Phillips and keep going. Or well, not? so oh. the railroad does not want to give up access to that area and they talked about doing a mountain bay extension well they can't actually do a mountain bay extension it would be called a spur yeah. because of the um railroad trails which is funding if it's not on a railroad bed or a previous rural bed then they can't get funding for the actual mountain bay because that's a state trail right. um so they're talking about some options but the goal is to get the messenger to camp phillips done uh, they would love to extend it and stay on this side of the river because right now what they're planning is to actually go to Ken Phillips, cross the river, go through Yellowbanks up Northwestern, cross the river again over the old railroad bridge, and they're like, we're across the river twice for no reason. If they could stay on the south side, if they could find some access, um, that, that is their goal. So the railroad gave up everything east from Camp Phillips. Yes. Well, well, no, what they're waiting right now for is, so they sold it to the state, which is the DNR, uh, but they, they're actually, their lawyers looking into it, they're like, did they retain any rights to the area? So, I, I know, but so Jamie said they're just making sure that there's no issues there because all of a sudden they want to use it again and then you're ripping up the trail. Use it again for what? Well, right now they have cars backed up to Camp Phillips off of the, you know, off of the. Oh yeah, that's right. They do. They store. There are a lot of. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. So they just want to make sure everything's good to go before they move forward with that. So we talked about a lot of stuff. Um, they actually have a kickoff event next week. Um, they're building three new playgrounds. Who, who is? Um, Wasa. Wasa. Wasa is. Yep. And I met and. So the rep for Lee Recreation, which represents Burke, which is based out of Pond Lac. We'll be in town and I'm meeting with them next week. Um, but literally, it's a hundred thousand minimum per play structure. Okay, so do you, do you have like a I'm sorry, do you, do you have a like a master parks development or long term plan or something like that that you might have sitting in your office somewhere that you That's could? That's what you guys are all going to work on the court plan that he's updating yeah. and starting. That's what that survey is. So you should have that plan by November. The strategic plan from November. No, no. there's so also a new one that was sent out last Friday. That one. Yeah. So, so there's starting that whole but it's incorporated into the feedback we got from the community on the strategic plan, wasn't it? Wasn't part of that? No, no. Well, this this is just the outdoor rec plan. Just rec. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it actually gets updated every five years. Okay. Uh, versus the comp plan, which is every 10 years. Yep. But it, it literally directs you for at least 10 years, right. but you have to update it every five years. Um, it allows you to get federal and state funding if you have it within that plan. Right. So um, that's going to direct which way we go with our parks in the future. The master plans is just an individual park. So Kennedy and Prosco are doing master plans. We should probably get this on either oh. into the committee or on agenda. Yeah, so, so this is really our um, plan. So is a how um, I'm on the bicycle committee for Marathon County, Jasper. Sorry, sir. Marathon County Planning Committee, Planning Department. Yes. They have a part in the they say for bicycle and pedestrian. There's a committee there. 
They have a master plan for this mountain bay. Yeah, and they're working on Marathon Park too. Because we talk about that project several times. I mean, let's say a few years yeah. to take it from Mascara, yeah. actually from Municipal Street, bring it all the way to Camp Phillips. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can't cross it for railroad because they use it for spare. So, but they want to use Camp Phillips to get to Northwestern and from there go to Boston. Right. Uh, Dan, was he talking about? He owns that land along there doing some trails. He is he has a house in there. That's he has a house. bed and breakfast. Yeah. And yeah. He wants to have a bed and breakfast. Part of Girl Scouts. And he was at the meeting for with the Marathon County House. Yeah, because I thought he said something about doing, developing some trail in his yeah, he was gonna let the trail go through there. So yeah. let's get this back on ARPA. Yeah. So and um so we'll get this updated and we'll go from there. How's that? Okay. Uh, just a quick question again. Yeah, go ahead. Um, Jessica, what's the deadline on us using ARPA again? Lots of time. Okay. Uh, 20, 2024, or else have it. If it, you have a contract, you have till 2026. So if we sign a contract for new playground equipment. So end of 24 or contract at 26, right? I believe so. Yeah, so the funds basically need to be delegated by yep. end of next year. We've got a lot of time. Gotcha. Okay. So we don't have to spend it anymore on that, right? Okay. All right. So let's, um, I'm going to just, uh, if you uh, would just uh, hang on here with me a little bit. Can we just go to 49? So our chiefs can leave. Uh, discussion and or action on bids for public safety building presentations. This was the bids that were opened on April. Was it fourth? Just... So we took, action. Oh, we took action at the committee. Okay. All right. Motion to reject the bids for the public safety building exterior second. renovations received on April 4th. By Cronin, second by Pinsnell. Any more on the discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Good night, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, whoever's leaving, if you stay his name. Uh, back up to 45. So 44, we're going to get um, updates on the ARPA funds. Collectively think about different things. I'm going to take happy thoughts and uh, not just keep on whittling it down to, uh, the things that we'll never remember. So it'd be kind of neat to say, hey, we did this. With that. Um, and I just got to say this on that. Uh, Dino Corvino wants it all spent on the dog park and the skate park. So period. <laughs> That's it. Anyway. Well, I'm for the baseball. Yep. You know, and, well, lighting. you're going to have to fight it out with the shelter. So. <laughs> uh, 45, update on goals for 2023-2025 strategic plan. <clears throat> I think that was yours, Jim. Right. Yeah, so I asked that to be on the agenda. Just I wanted to show up every month just to remind us of where we are with that. I don't know how the ARPA thing is, but actually take action on this and not just remind us. So some of the stuff that was in that strategic plan that was approved by the board before my time, um, there's some goals on there that have to be met by this December. Mm -hmm. And our year is half of the way over. Um, so I, I like that you put this on here because this should be um, um, a place marker because I think sometimes we get into this and, and that, that was a good experience. That was a good uh, piece. That was a good uh, exercise. And I think we need to keep this current, keep this right in front of us so that we kind of follow some of the course. And I mean, we, we can't, not that we would waste it, but we've got to stay on top of that. I, I agree. So, yeah, I'd like to comment on that. Yep. So we had our last meeting that we had, um, I think it might have been HR, I don't recall. Yes, it was, it was HR. So we actually brought this up, the strategic plan, because like you said, some of these goals here are supposed to be met by the end of this year. So the discussion we had with the administrator was for the next meeting that we had, to, um, before the next meeting that we had, was to meet with the department heads, get feedback from the department heads that um, would be relevant to each one of the goals for the strategic plan, get their feedback, let us know whether or not these are actual priorities that they think they can achieve or the priorities that, or other goals that would be more of a priority rather than what the strategic plan outlined but would actually be relevant for the village. So that's what we requested to have for the next meeting, the HR meeting that we had, so that we could take a look at this and see what was actually achievable, not something that was just academically laid out and then given to us as a, as a platform. Because this was something that, as you're absolutely right, um, 
was produced as part of the survey and everything else, along with the strategic plan that we hired, um, the company that we brought in, they spit this out back at us. Problem is, is we really haven't had a chance to circle back and have a meeting with the, the administrator and the department heads and say, okay, is this really achievable? Is this really what we want to focus on for these priorities if this is really relevant for those departments? So that's the last I don't know, two weeks ago that we talked about that. So the next HR meeting, we're looking at what's relevant for the human resources side, which would have to do with um, customer to... response. Yeah, exactly. You know, the things that would deal with HR, but the other things that would deal with specific department heads and what their scope in this entire thing is so that everybody's got a clear direction moving forward. So I'm glad you brought it up because with everything that's been going on, we haven't really got a chance to touch base on this up until literally this last month. Yeah, from the class time. So, um, yeah, this is something we are, the is gonna help. Yeah, this is something that we are kind of circled back on now that we got in the building, got all these other things kind of touched on. We're, 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 uh, we're back actively, I guess I'm back actively uh, I'm working with the administrator to, uh, to get this uh, moving, I guess, or touched on again. Now we kind of got the building and everything where it needs to be. So would it make sense to split each one of these up to a committee and then report to the committee and the committee can come That back. was actually and a- Energized yep. Workforce would yep. report to the HR committee. Yep. Uh, so that's something Service that delivery would about. go- Public works public probably. Works. Yeah. Responsible growth would be planning and community engagement would be where? So maybe directly here. I would think that would be probably Jennifer, part of one of them. Def, definitely Jennifer's department with you know planning and development. Which one? This is where you Pam, right? This is where you would like possible growth. I mean, that's part of her um, part of her job is to reach out. Oh yeah, no. Find, uh, or you're engagement here. Yeah, okay. yeah I'm on the fourth. Yeah, okay. We're doing engagement across different departments: the clerk's department, the uh, the so Supreme. That's where you're, you want this to be reviewed with staff. That's what we need to do. We need to come up with this kind of an action plan. There's going to be components to these things. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, this was arrived at by input from the staff with consultant. This isn't something that she threw at us. This is something that was defined as we went through the process. So right. it's not like this is a surprise to anybody. Staff so, and trustees, because right. I was there the day we did this. Yeah. Yeah. But, but it's up because yeah. Jim has it on the agenda. So it's gonna be just nice to check a few of these off. Yes, so that we're moving forward. And there's things that we have been working yeah. on anyway. So are we're... there any that we can check off right now? Your baseline oh, numbers for any of this stuff, Keith? I'm sorry? I've, I've kind of got a follow up. So just, yeah. just to, in the spirit of checking some things off, yeah. let's go into community engagement. Let's go over three columns. And uh, let's see, community engagement. Oh, did somebody move this on? Yep. Uh, the second one in the middle, zero vacancies on committee and commissions by 2024. Check With it your off. initials on it. Check it off. Gold star, yeah, whatever yeah, you guys we're have. We're starting it. Here we go. Can check off the 10% increase in I was just signed because I yeah. got 209 people to sign up see, on Saturday. Cool, right? so you have cool. metrics for the original, right? You have yeah. metrics on the front side mm -hmm. so that we can track growth. Pardon? You have metrics for the yep. front side. Yeah. Perfect. Oh wow. Yeah, and I, I think I wanted to kind of have that all. I think a lot of the stuff is responsible for us. We could be. We've been doing a lot in planning, so. It's been work time. Yeah. It's been I, I, time. I, I, I keep it fresh in our mind, so I think it's important, and uh, we spent a lot of time on that. That was pretty neat. I think we, uh, the board was kind of kept out of it for quite a bit, but other than that, no biggie. So huh. I'm just teasing, of course. Mm -hmm. No, it's good. It's uh, a lot of good stuff came out of it. Okay, all right. Good, Jim? Yeah, so next month, maybe we'll have some additional- Let's do it again. Put on yeah. stuff. Good. And yeah, we all have it. It's, it's right there. Inappropriate locations. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put the check marks the one here or the- Well, I, I just think, um, you know- Definitely initials. I think some stickers. I mean, I really like stickers when I was a kid. You want a smiley face for a star? My mom had a mother goose, a boot. I was usually on the top rung quite a bit. So, yeah. well, I think check off everything that's been done, and then maybe the directors can go through this and figure out what's not being worked on that needs to be brought back to each of their committees. I think a big one is the website too, and we're working on that. So, yeah, I mean, with Nate on. Yeah. Yeah. 
are staying? And Nate, Nate is staying with Civic Plus, right? No. Oh, we're not. Okay. Because I, I don't know if we have we're to stay. Exploring other okay. options. I asked that question. Are we married to that? Well, one? I would. I think a fun one, an engagement one, something that you know draws you in. You know, something that gets you excited. I think my exact question was: Do they have any websites that are good? Yeah. Oh, Civic Plus. Yeah, yes. probably not. Probably government. You know, so I mean, don't worry about me. Worry about the young people. So. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Uh, we'll see. All right, well, uh, rock and roll. Okay, so we are now, our strategic plan, uh, new business, approve Arbor Day pro proclamation. 2-23-001. Oh. Is that somebody? Move to approve. Move to approve by Zagami. Second. Second by Cronin. Or, or Barb. Or Barb. Uh, we're taking Cronin, I guess. Um, any more discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Discussion and or action on accounts receivable write-off. So uh, what's in your what's in your packet that Jessica would explain too is uh, we approve the bottom three the three closures and the top four we're going to continue to work on in finance. Okay, okay. So yeah, we, I was wondering because some yeah. of them are still in business. Yeah, we're we're going to look for those uh, thin numbers and um, see if we can uh, take a stab at them a little bit. And apparently, we found out um, uh, between Jessica and Pam that we can write a uh, kind of a little nasty gram. And, Kind of like school chop chop, or we're all going there to order drinks at some of these places and then not pay for them. So <laughs> it works well. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so anyway, that's well, if you're going to take action on that, uh, it's on the bottom three that we're sure. writing off. Okay, yeah. what's your pleasure? I recommend the board of trustees approve the account receivable write offs for. Yeah. Weston Masonry, Weston Memory Care, your CBD store, and QD Pipe Photo Studios. Motion. Second. Second by Hardinger. Uh, anything on the discussion? Hearing none. All those. In oh, 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 oh. Sorry. Is there any way that we can ask for that FEIN on any of our documentation? Like, one would think if we talked about that. We think we have some licensing here, and uh, but I know I can walk into the sports bar and it's on their wall. So they have to have that shown. They have to have that uh, in public. So sure. you're saying on like an occupancy permit? I'm saying on an occupancy we permit, I'm saying, yeah. well, gosh, if Aero Bar has seven operators or liquor licenses coming through your office, say, you know what? I would love to renew those just as soon as we get your uh, XYZ approved. We can do that. Yeah. And we might have some of the numbers here, you know, just but, yeah, absolutely. On every build, every business has to do occupancy. Right. 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 So could we add that to our occupancy right. permit? Right. Um, right. 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 Document you have to be up to date. I mean, obviously, this is only going to work from here going forward on a new business, but then, yeah, then you can have that number, right? You can ask for it. And this is, you know, this is 21, so we've got 22, right? Two, so, like 14 projects Jennifer's working on right now, but she get it on all of them. But don't pay the taxes, so that's that. <laughs> all right, so, um, uh, we got a, a motion and a second. Uh, we're in a discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carry. 48. Discussion and or action on draft letter to TIT business regarding small improvement project economic development grant program. I think the letter looks good. I want to approve proceeding with mailing a letter to every business located in geographical tax increment district. I'll second. So a motion by Pinsnell, second by Hardinger. Any more in the discussion? To clarify TID one and TID two. Yep. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? So carried. 49, discussion and or action on bids for public safety building renovations. We already did that. Uh, yes, we did. Thank you. Mark that off. 50, discussion and or action on process for administrator recruitment. Is that a place? So there was some discussion at human resources about their the involvement that they may have in this process, for one thing, because in the past there has been, I, I think, some involvement by the Human Resources Committee and conducting interviews and so forth. So mm -hmm. we have not talked about this, you know, at the board level as to what your desires are and how to move forward. So, Mr. Um, Hardinger, I know, was uh, part of the HR, the Human Resources Committee discussion. So yeah, the, the I guess the conversation was because the administrator is appointed by the board, the president in particular, but the board is typically a part of that process. That when its candidates come in, uh, who's who's going to work with you, Keith? Is it Valerie or 
For what? To review the applicants that are coming in no. so that no. the review is here at the board level. No, so the, I'm sorry, let me let me clarify okay. that. No. All the applicants that are sending in their resumes, you want the board to review yes. all those? Yes. yes. Staff, staff should not be reviewing their future leader. Okay, so yeah. what we wanted to do was whittle it down. Whittle yeah. it down and then bring you guys the best candidates. Otherwise, that's going to be a very long board meeting. Oh, no, we, we were going to whittle down here and then yes. refer them to the HR. Yes. And then HR can dive deep. So we'll and, take 100, and, make it 10, and send 10 to yeah. HR and, and interview. You know, because I know that's how we did Daniel. We appointed you. We took you, made you. But Daniel, we, we did. Um, <laughs> well, we did. Made man, is that what you're saying? Oh, I'm sorry? Made man? Yes. You are yes. Not. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Italian. <laughs> the minutes do not reflect that. Yeah. No. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so. But you know what I mean? So just wanted, I, I thought that there was some discussion that they didn't want to go through this whole pile. Right. And so we would whittle it here in full session and then refer the whatever and we were just thinking actually the the opposite we and then they'll come back to us you guys so you guys can go through the the ones because we're going to go through it because you're talking hours we're going to go through all the applicants separate the ones that are qualified the top 10 or 12 whatever they were and then give you those so the board can review them together so you guys aren't going through 50 or 60 applicants. Well, how many do we have? Uh, I don't know. I'm no. just saying. I don't know how many we have right now. 17? I'm going to guess maybe like 16? 15 to 20. Oh, we'll yeah. see yeah. what, what we had. Yeah. Till the end of the month. Yeah. But we do have till the end. My thought is that because that is the board's only employee, yeah. should be the one that eliminates those that are not qualified and what we feel that you could do the interviews and then you would send those back to the board. Okay. And, that's, and then, yeah. you know, we would go from, from there. Just wanted that discussion because we weren't sure how you wanted to handle it. Yeah, Robin, well, that's, Robin Hegg was on that the yeah. last time. Yeah. So, yep. So, so just to clarify, yeah. we'll, we're going to, we're going to, all the applicants are going to come to the board here. Right. We have some yeah. tonight, and then there's a balance that's got to come at the end of May, right? Yeah, we've got till the end of the month. Yeah. So the board will review all applications. They'll come back to the HR committee with your recommendations. We'll recommend. No, I think you guys tear them apart. So yeah, going yeah. to uh, conduct the interviews. The last time uh, when we did the Daniel Guild, it was the HR department. But there was there were trustees involved. The, it was a combination of trustees. Uh, and yes, the, I was on that committee member, right? Yeah. I was there too with HR. Yes. So I think you'd want to identify who your interview panel is. You know, okay. Who fits what? the board and the mm -hmm. citizen HR. members of the HR committee? Then, yeah. You know. okay. What do we consider a small business? What is what do we do consider as a small business? I don't understand. Is it this letter go to all the small oh, business? No, we're oh, both. Yeah, that's that's the other way. That, that one was um, that was number forty eight. When he when he sent out that uh, that's it, that's it deal? yeah yep yeah so, what we consider who's this oh okay business? he's just moving back to that one I don't know that there are any it's not it can go to any business yeah. just a yeah. small grant it can go to any yeah. business any small business, grants small, any business so only have to, to do with the size of a business no, no it's no. just that it's a small okay. improvement because yeah. it's only ten thousand dollars or up to ten thousand we don't have any money outside the tid earmarked right. for this right Barb? yeah well last time i know we, the hr <clears> had some <throat> issues with it but in the end the um we discussed the final candidates and then board interviews Yep. You know, one more but, time. Yeah. One more time. But you know, I think it's important that the board has that all of a sudden say there's a maybe for whatever reason we decided that candidate really did have qualifications and you said they didn't in your committee. Right. That way it eliminates that part. Yeah. And okay. I, so the board will do the first new HR. Uh, we'll do uh, uh, the a, little, a little deeper. And, and, yeah. and you know, and then probably send back your your recommendations or whatever but you would still have you know and our our criteria was what whether or not they met the minimum standards right mm -hmm. right so you guys were getting uh yeah useless applications right, right. that was the well, only I went through yeah. these already and there's yeah. some useless applications. Yeah, well, that was all we we're going to do is make sure we weren't wasting the board's time 
you know, but I don't think it would take long for the board to just yeah. look through the just the cover letters and say, yeah. you know. Yeah. And plus, with the professionals, the three professionals that we have on the HR committee, we thought, right. I mean, two of them, that's all they do is hiring. Right. And I really so wanted their eyes. And the, the, the ones yeah. that we said, well, they meet the minimum, but let you yeah. let you go sure. through them and then with your recommendations, and then we still would have the final decision. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Okay. All right. Good there? I don't know. Yep. There's, clear. So, there's really no action on that one, correct? Other than waiting with the processes. So you want, you're going to look at the first wave and then it's going to yeah, be the first yeah. So the next meeting would be the 3rd of June. We would have all the applications. So uh, but the, the board will uh, not have board to look at them. Yeah. So the board's got to look at the last half of May. So I guess we- Can we, can we make a special board meeting? Yeah. 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 Have to. We should. yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, we should have a special board meeting anyway because of the uh, uh, public safety building. Right. So actually, you know what? That's in June, right? Yes. That's like the yes. third, the third or something of June. We could do both of them because that would be after the cutoff for um, yeah. the administrator position. So we could do both of them at that meeting. What is what is um, third of June is Saturday? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, yeah, so can, we, can we not do it on Saturday though? Yeah. I like I agree. Saturdays. I love being here. I do too, but I can't work Saturday if I'm sitting in this chair. Yeah. So I agree. Yeah. I haven't seen one car in here. So do we have to establish a date right now? Um, I thought it was, a, is it the 5th? Probably we would be good to just... So 25th is when the bids are due. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. Okay. And we have, we have, you're right, right now we've got scheduled for... We had a date picked. I thought we did too. I have 30th on my calendar. Yeah. When, when, did, when are applications due? First, I thought. Is it 30th, 31st? Okay. That's not going to work. I can we make, push a day? I can make 31st. We push a day, push that meeting a day first. Uh, go to the first uh, meeting or the uh, that's what I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, hold on a second here though. The 30th is just the ad hoc, that's not the board. Well, they're both right. there. Are they both? Uh, yeah, the special the ad hoc meeting at five, special board at six. Right. So that was the 30th. Okay. That's a Tuesday. Well, we can push them both forward now. Can we push it to Wednesday Thursday? Thursday? What time do the uh, applicants have to be in by? The 1700s. Yeah, 31st. So then you have to make it on July 1 because or June 1. Yeah, until Thursday. Thursday. Somebody's going to turn it in at 1159 p.m. and what Thursday? Yeah, first. Thursday the first. first. Well, first. Well, no, I think it'll be the 30th. I think it'll be the 30th, right? Well, they said the there was a special meeting that day. Is there a special meeting the 30th? Yes. Well, they're, we're, we're going to. Well, we can move it. We can move it. It doesn't have to happen. Okay. Okay. Both forward to Thursday. Well, the first. Uh, so we're, I go to the first. I would. Yeah. So the first we'll have the ad hoc at five and then um, the special board meeting at six. Yes. The special board meeting will be to approve the bid. Or reject. Or reject. Or reject. And number two, um, to review the application for the administrator. Will there be a notification coming out on that? 24 hours prior. No, no. So that we can that come to our phones or come to our, our calendar. No, that's the June 1st. June 1st. Thursday. All right. Okay, what time? 17, 5 p.m. Uh, 5 is five. start. Just make it 5 start. Uh, All right. Rock and roll. Finished? Yes. Thank you. Uh, five, I'm sorry. Yep, 5 o'clock start. Five and six. Uh, 51, discussion and or action on employee staff spotlight article or a wire. Are we talking? Yeah, so this is another one of mine that I asked to be put on here. We used to we used to have employees in there. We used to spotlight it. Yes, I did when the, we had done that. We took a um, road crew, and then we had them kind of give a little description of what they were and what route they drove, so that people had an idea where their person was. Yeah. Give a little bio and then staff yeah. to awards, accomplishments, achievements. Yes. How long you've been with the village? I think yeah. we should absolutely do that. Um, I think that should go out on um, the wire is what? Quarterly? Four times here. Mm -hmm. So if we have 30 some, because the number changes, right? We got people adding and leaving and people adding, right? Mm -hmm. um, so if we did one per, how often does your thing go up? Yeah, weekly, right? Mine goes up weekly, yeah. Right. So if you did one per month, that'd be 
per quarter, you could do 12 per year. Every three years, you'd cycle through everyone on the staff. I don't know how you prioritize it if you do it alphabetically or by oldest, youngest, whichever. Josh Orchestra is something. But I, I think everyone that's here does an excellent job, and it was really great to see them interact with, with residents they normally don't get to um, on, on Saturday. Um, so I'd like to see that. And it may or may not make sense to do one elected or appointed official as well for Weston Lawyer. I think we should also put together just like a little bullet point. Um, Pam, is this where you said that you had this under right here? Is this where the wire was when you were saying it's on the agenda today? Yes. Okay. So uh, just a bullet point um, on what needs to be in the wire. So um, I, I just think we should represent everybody in there and have enough time and that there is no a deadline big enough that we can't get everything in there from the bullet point list. Uh, specifically, in my mind, the, the two safety uh, departments that we have. So I think fire has to get in there. Uh, police have to be in there. They're part of our community. They're extremely important to our community. And I think the residents have to hear about it. And uh, it, it could be some canned art that you can keep in a file, you know, but I don't think there's any deadline. We can always move it another week. I don't think we have any dates in stone. So. Um, and then um, I think um, maybe just some different stuff in there too. I've heard that a little bit. It just seems to always be the same. I know we have the like the refrigerator option that comes out in spring uh, with all the different dates for the whole year. That's a big deal. But um, I, I think with the people in there, that'll change it up a little bit. You know, now, now we can every department. Yeah. So we've got yeah, we got tons of time. And you can show off the building here too. You know, that's just the pages, but. Kind of neat yeah. to say, hey, what's what's the newest, latest, greatest thing in parks or finances on track or are all these this this grant for three hundred eighty one thousand dollars or whatever? Right, that's exciting stuff. Are these ads all free? Yeah, yeah. So we don't charge anything, right? Or isn't there some here? No, no I don't. Well, it's a walk. Okay, the thing that would be an ad would be anything about recycling and that type of thing. We don't have any ads that's uh, like from businesses or anything. If that's what you mean, yeah. It doesn't have to be just employees or staff that you could highlight. You could highlight a different elected official or as well. I think you should have both. I think yeah. you, you've got kind of two different paths and it should be appointed and elected. So there's there's folks on committees and commissions that aren't elected, but mm -hmm. they still do a lot of hard work in the village and many people don't know who they are. Let's the get point. to it. It just has to be a bio the only It can't be political. Like if, if we're in front of a election, uh, we just can't be. Yeah, you got to be careful with that. Yep. Okay. All right. Enough. Thanks. So, did we establish how many times we're putting the wire out? Four times. I think you guys said four times. Four times. Yep. So, move on to the next one. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I got it all down. I mean, if somebody wants to put, like, a eatery wants to put an ad in there with a coupon, they don't charge them, but then they got to put a cash coupon in there. And it's got to be, it can't be 25 cents. It's got to be like five bucks. But that would add some value to that baby. Awesome. Anyway. We tried something, mm -hmm. but they, they actually paid for it. It didn't work out. Yeah. Well, they throw out a, a, a nice coupon. That'd be awesome. Anyway, okay. All right, enough of that. Uh, 52, 51, 52, 52. Uh, discussion and or action. Uh, do we need any action or discussion? We just discussed it. I don't think we have to act on that, right? Uh, we're on farmer's market now. Yeah, thank you. So discussion and or action on farmer's market eligibility and standard operating procedures. Oh, so yeah. many of us or all of us got an email uh, from somebody out in Marathon uh, questioning how she uh, how they get their business in there. I, I don't know if this business would really apply because I think we're looking more for, you know, it's a farmer's market. It's not a craft sale. Mm -hmm. It's not a clothing sale. And um, I mean, I, I flowers and food items and you know stuff like that i think is the norm at a farm um i guess the only part i would question is this long-standing agreement that we have that if you pay the fee every year you're in so quite possibly uh, unless we make a bigger farmer's market uh, we might have the same people in there for the next 20 years and that really happened in wausau so when reds was running the wausau one and it was with an iron fist you could not get in there and if you were the next green bean guy or gal that wanted to sell green beans here 
and they knew that you sold them at your roadside stand a lot cheaper, you weren't coming in because they were holding the price up. And it just became nothing. It just became the same old, same old. So I, I, think, I think there's more items there. I mean, so what's the food truck that's there all the time? Danny's, yeah. right? Yeah, I know, she's right there. Yeah. So Danny's is there right now? Yep. Always there. As long as they pay, they get to stay. But there's a lot of food trucks out there. That yeah. So like you know, last year, can I talk? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, so every year we do have um, like permanent vendors, like anywhere from four to six new vendors every year. We do? Yes. Okay, and, know that. and last year we had 24 new daily vendors. So what happens is, is that um, I look at the list who, who played it, their, their full seasonal um, fee. And how much is that fee? It's, it's $125. Right. And then they have a deadline to get it back. I'm just doing it so you guys can see me. <laughs> Come on up here if you want. Um, you don't have the sun and right. So then they have a deadline to get it back. Once I don't, if I don't receive something back, I will reach out to them because sometimes like they've moved or, you know, sometimes with the mail, you know, they just don't get it. Um, some people may not like, um, so last year, Bork and Mart was one of our food vendors. Um, she went brick and mortar, so she couldn't. So then um, I replaced that food vendor. Um, I couldn't find one that would do Tuesdays and Saturdays like she did. So the Cantina Boys came in on Saturday, which was very popular. And then I had a roasted corn person and who did baked potatoes. So, um, so there was two new food vendors there. Um, I had an ice cream vendor. They couldn't do it, so then Wild Dudes Apothecary came in, and they did like like the yogurt boats and shaved ice and things like that. Um, I had a sauce person. Um, I had <clears throat> different like maple syrup people. So I tried it. If somebody like a honey person left, I have a new honey person this year. Um, if a fruit and vegetable person leaves, I have you know different fruit and vegetable person. So we do have, um, and then sometimes people like. The produce vendors, they don't start sometimes till maybe beginning of June, beginning of July. So then there's open spots. So someone will call and say, hey, you know, can I get in? And I, like you were saying, you don't want to be a craft show. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, I don't want like 20 crafters. We have 20 spots right now because someone will go like, wait a minute, I thought this was a farmer's market. Um, so I try to look um, like I had one bakery to start off with and then we moved here. Um, it got really popular. So then I brought in another bakery. One came on Tuesday, one came on Saturday. But then it was warranted enough they're running out. So now they're both midnight vendors. They have a brick and mortar in their towns. Um, they work together on Saturdays. Like one specializes in pies and breads and cheesecakes, and the other one's like turnovers and angel food cake and brownies. And, and so the customers, they buy from both because there's a different variety. This year, I'm bringing in someone on Tuesday who's going to do custom cookies and custom cupcakes. So like, if you want your logo on it, you know, if you have a soccer event, if you have a graduation, um, cause neither one of those do that. So it's another, you know, opportunity um, for somebody different. So I try to look to see when they come in because the vendors, they, um, it keeps growing. I mean, every time like we post something, um, you know, they're like, this is a great market, this, you know, and people are starting to come over here because the, the vendors are friendly. We have a different, you know, atmosphere than Wasa does. You know, we have people can come in, they can get something to eat, they can get a bakery item, they can get a dessert, they can, you know, get a craft item, they can get some maple syrup. You know, they, I have, um, I used to have a couple of meat vendors, some of them went out. So um, George Jordan's daughter, Katrina, came in last year. So she has the um, farm across from Scott Turner. So we have pork and beef and chicken and eggs and stuff like that. And then I have a guy, um, who was on the way in this one, one, another meat vendor. So he is on Tuesdays, he does Texas Longhorn. And so they both try to, you know, they don't compete against each other. I just try to make that some of the specialty vendors. Um, I try not to have exact dudes because everyone that goes to the market is there for fruits and vegetables. They may not be there for a Danny's or they may not be there for maple syrup. They may not be there for a craft. And they see that there, so then they buy that too. Yeah, yeah you know, so I don't want to, duplicate too many of the specialty ones because I want everybody to be successful. I'm good. I haven't talked to you in a year on this and I didn't realize there was that much variety there. I haven't started going this year. I just drive by it a lot. So yeah. Yeah, we had I think the whole thing got sparked by this Alpha Marathon. You would agree that we're not gonna have clothing there, right? Correct. So yeah, um, was it from Lions and Lou? Yeah. 
Okay. So she buys her clothing from Italy. I saw that. And so if I do have somebody with clothing or like, you know, I, I ask that they, they make it themselves, you know, or the jewelry and stuff like that. And I have one or two jewelry vendors, you know, but I don't have five jewelry vendors because that's not what people are looking at. But sometimes, you know, oh, okay, it's Mother's Day. There's a neat little thing and they can, have, you know, so I really try to listen. Like I'm there at the market a lot and I really interact with the customers all the time. I really work with the vendors all the time. I try to, you know, make sure they're successful, what the customers want. Um, I'm, you know, constantly looking around the other markets and. Um... What, so what's what's the um, amount of the 125s that we get every year? How many do we get for 125? 45. So 45 125s. Okay. So if they're not on the whole year, what do they pay them if they're just a couple days? They pay $20 a day. Oh, okay. How many vacant spots did you have? So there's there's 40 spaces, right? There's about 45. Sometimes we can squeeze in or sure. depending. So how many vacant spots? I mean, obviously nothing's growing today. Well, stuff is growing, like the grass out front, but... Um, not saleable yet, right? So we're, we're looking. So you, you, so those first couple of so you would not bring in produce right now, right? Some do. I, I have um, about I, I know, three you, produce vendors. Yeah, but you wouldn't bring in uh, melons right now, would you? Not unless for some reason they had had a greenhouse, but none of they, I, none of them have melons. My point is that that where I work, we I will not sell a farmer's market. I won't sell a roadside stand because I'm protecting the stores and my customers. And so um, I get in a lot of trouble up in Lincoln County because some of those people want to sell there in their market. I'm sure I get some from down here and I won't sell them. But it doesn't mean that they can't buy them from down south and bring all that produce that's not even from this country. No, we don't allow that. Okay. I mean, you should, you, like, you should you be bake, able to- You bake a approached me a few years ago. They wanted to bring in blueberries from Michigan. I'm like, no. Yeah. Well, actually that would be current if they were from Michigan, but. If you brought them in now, no, now they're from South America. So, you know, like right now, the vegetables that we have are lettuce, rhubarb, onions, yeah. spinach, um, and radishes. Okay. Great. So, and if for some reason, if they would have something like last year, I had a vendor that had some tomatoes because there's a person in Antigo that did hydro, uh, hypo hydroponic. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's probably one of the best tomato producers in the state. And, and I'm shocked that he actually came here because he actually takes his produce to Madison and sells a lot of it. It's Canopy Gardens. So yeah. they are. And so then they have to put that, that's where they got that they did personally. Put that. I'm just curious, I, how, much, how much time do you spend on this a week, especially in the summer? Um, I'm just, I, I say, it sounds like there's a lot going on. So I'm just curious. So I'll usually like, I'll try to go there like on Tuesdays, I'll go there between six and six thirty in the morning, and I, you know, see if there's any. Like, especially if I know a new vendor is going to come, especially during the daily stuff. Once our season gets going and it's all settled in, Mary, I have a market manager that is really good at that. Um, like for now, on early spring, like we have some people who are way down by the the monument sign. We'll try to bring them up so everybody's together. Um, and not someone has to like be in the back 40 and like, oh, I'm not going to walk down there. So everybody, you know, gets to do We're that. talking about the same spot though, right? When you say back 40, you mean that corner, right? Yeah. 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 So the, the market manager, um, who's this person? Mary. And, she, and does she get paid? Um, I, I get her some gift cards and stuff like that. From, from us? Yeah. I have it budgeted. Budgeted how? The farmer's market budget, we budget for purchase of gift cards to give our market managers. Our market managers, we have more than one? No, just market manager. It used to be Perk, but now it's Mary. Okay. I, I just didn't know we had that. So, and that's a person that has to be there and work the, the, the market the whole day. Yeah, she, she, she sells stuff too, and she does our tokens. Um, so that's one of the things that the tokens, and I was asking you about that Saturday. So the yeah. tokens, I, 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 I think I understand the tokens. So I have a credit card. I have no cash and you don't take checks and you don't take credit cards. So I, how do I buy my tokens? Okay. So you'd go to Mary. Okay. So I have to take, um, classes that fill out applications, um, for our market. So 
I'm WIC certified, which is women's infants and children. So they get checked. So I have to be certified for that and fill out an application. And then I have a training session. The county comes in and then any vendors who want to get WIC certified, they have to go through a process and they have to have a sign. So when someone has a check, they know what vendors to go to. Um, I have to be able to accept EBT, which is food stamps. Um, How do we do that? Mecha mechanically or manually or electronically? So they have, it's just like a debit card and then they swipe it through that same machine. But that machine had to be set up for um, debit credit and EBT, which is food stamps. So it's our machine? Yeah. And um, so I had a grant. I had the machine for a long time with the grant and then that the grant ended. And so we purchased one last year. Um, I think um, I, I think I'm going to stall this and um, push this to a different day. And um, okay, I'm I, sorry. I just, no, no, not at all. I just think there's a lot more here than I thought. And I, 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 I think you might all agree. I, I think we got to look at this more internally, you know, with staff, and then and then talk a little bit more about it. I, I just don't want to rush this or quickly decide on something that we might not understand something, you know, and wreck something. So to be honest. Right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I just, I don't, I don't feel comfortable right now talking about action. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, no, no, yeah. to defer until yeah. next, yeah. next month. And uh, maybe not even, I think, I think internally we should look at some of this stuff, you know, and just find out what we're all doing here. So well, if you want to look at it internally, can we maybe just defer it to that special meeting that we have yeah, as a maybe, placeholder yeah. and then maybe some yeah. discussion will spur be, yeah. you know, between now and then? I don't know. Anybody have any issues with anything? I just want to be just. Well, just well, I just, I just didn't realize that it was this much. I mean, that, that we're I actually. I believe hard on trying to get a variety. Yeah, no, I'm not saying you're doing yeah. anything wrong. We yeah. just don't understand how it works. It's not at all. It, it's just, it seems to me more than I, I guess I thought I was going to hear about. Um, and um, yeah, okay. Yeah. Ask question. You, you said there's roughly 45 spots. On any given day, how many of those are sold out at the beginning of the year? Usually about 42. So 42 are sold out at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. Most of those are reoccurring. Yes. But, but if they don't show, then she still has the money and you can sell that spot for 20 bucks, right? Well, so what happens like, and the reason I say 42 is like, I will look and I'll send out like 45 application or 40, whoever I have. I may only get 40 back. I may only get 38 back. You know, someone may just decide, or like I have my, my hot dog vendor used to come on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Well, now he can't, he can only come on Saturdays. So then technically I would have a Tuesday spot open, you know? So if some people can't come, then I, then, you know, people who call up on a daily said, Hey, can I do this? Yep. I can put you in. Can you come on Tuesday? Yep. We'll put you here. And so some of these vendors, they may be a Tuesday in this spot and the next Tuesday they may be over here or, you know, depending who's not there. Yeah, that sounds a lot. To, to juggle. I, yeah, I know you're doing a great job. And we're not the moment to get saying so, that. I, I just, because I got a call too. She's also in finance. She's also working with Jessica too. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I got a call too from somebody locally who wanted to, you know, get something out there. And I, I deferred them. Okay. But I said, I, I, I do know from past discussions that we've had, like these things are gone at the beginning of the year, basically. But I try super hard to work somebody in. Yeah, no, I'm sure. And you know, to make sure that's, that's, right. that's, yeah. that, that's not at all what we're talking. Yeah. Maybe at maybe our, maybe our yearly rates need to be a little higher. Yeah, well, I, I know, but but if it's 125, and then that person ain't showing up for a while. Yeah, you can yeah. sell that spot yeah. for 20 bucks, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. And they don't care, yeah. but they want their spot when they're ready. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank that you. Brings a variety. That, yeah. that brings a variety of big time. Yeah. Right there. That's good. So it's not the same every week. Yeah. So last year we had 22 different daily. It's not even filled up yet. Right. But, yeah. I mean, but at least if somebody wants to sell something there, they can do 20 bucks a day. Right. Okay. That's good. Thank you. Thank okay. you so much. All good. Thank you, Renee. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go to 53. Discussion and interaction on marketing or development of village property at 5500 Schofield. So this was due for an update. I know Jim asked about this being on the agenda, but... Uh, Kristen has actually been direct marketing the site. Now I could probably update the board here on any kind of activity that you've had. Maybe you've all contacted, but yeah, ultimately we do need to make some decision on what we're going to do here. I'll just sit here. Um, 
So initially we put out the RFP, we got zero responses, but I had sent it directly to at least a dozen or 15 different developers. Um, I send it out again every ran randomly every once in a while, and then I'll call just to see what's going on with any of them. So there is kind of a, a slow, constant drumbeat of that site being marketed. Um, there is somebody who's interested locally and um, it's- As is or raised? Um, I would, I think they would prefer to demo it themselves so they can um, probably make some money on the scrap metal. But, but I think it's important that the village clean up the asbestos. Yep. So. Has that been part of the discussion that we're, we take care of that and they're in or? Yeah. Okay. So that is. Well, you have no offers written for it, right? Correct. We're at that, what are the next steps phase? And I said, go get all your costs and get your plan ready so that when it comes to really talking about any kind of offer price or incentive or anything, you know, what's going to go there? Is it an appropriate use? How densely developed is the site going to be? We don't just want a small building on a seven acre site. You know, we want it to be programmed appropriately and packed in. If so I want 10 pounds in a 10 pound bag, I don't know about you guys. So they're, they're not going to just buy it and demo it. They're going right. to actually bring back what they want to put there. Too. Yes. Yeah. What, what are they looking at? We can't see. Can you? Not well, there yet. Residential yeah. commercial. Oh. I mean, like. I think eventually I'm encouraging them to consider a mix of uses on the site, so it would be appropriate commercial uh, on Schofield Ave, and then and then maybe on the back part of the lot it could be multifamily or something else. But Jennifer. You guys, because they're still talking, probably haven't got a chance to have that conversation about what they wouldn't or could develop in the future. There, uh, this is the first step. Well, if you rezone right now, it's zone institutional, so you can build nothing. <laughs> yeah, so Unless right. you're going to build a school or a church or a yeah. cemetery, yeah. Tax, property tax value on that is uh, about zero, right? So, we got to figure out if that's something that they want. Utilities are also zero, though, in the cemetery, and we have to have that discussion with Jennifer and mm -hmm. make sure that we. Carry that that conversation to. Well, to, that, to that would go through the plan commission for. Yeah. I mean, we vetted internally first, yeah, but yeah. the plan is so it's fresh. It's you know, it's I, I just said bake it a little more, get some costs, yeah. see what see what see what it's going to look like. How big is this? How wide? How deep? How. Is there a little sense of urgency on this group or person? <laughs> the guy who wants to develop it, it wants to get going. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, this is what, exciting. What would the asbestos remodel? That, I was just going to ask that. That's what I indicated. We would, if I'd be following up with the uh, right. company that does this uh, removal. So called Mabel. Oh, not REI. Okay. No. So we don't have we don't have a number yet. Don't have it yet. Can we get that going? Yeah, I know. Just a bit. Mabel is a company around here, or what? Yeah, the right off the street. Uh, Stewart Avenue. We use them a lot. Yeah, they're good. Is this this we building? Once it's done, we do it. We have to, before we even raise it, we would still have to remove the asbestos. Yes. Right. Yes. No, and that's what they would raise it. If somebody buys it as is. Right, I understand, but they, they want it. The asbestos yeah. removal is gotta get done no matter what. what. Right? Right. Yeah. 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 And is this is this property marketed at all or is it on the MLS? It's not officially listed on the MLS. Is it on Coalstar? No. Okay. We, were, we did the RFP, which okay. we had to do first. And we had zero response with that, right. zero successful response, yeah. right? You know, to, no, I'm I'm a broker and I can certainly list it, but I didn't get the permission or you know authorization to, to actually list it. And then we need to talk about if you're going to let me list it as a broker or if you want a different broker. Here's the problem, though, Jim. And what I would caution you to do is, if you list it, somebody brings a buyer, you're going to have to pay a commission. What if in the negotiation of this whole deal, you're selling it for nothing? You're giving them the site because you want the tax base. So you have no cash coming in and you have to come up with the money to pay a broker a commission. This is why we don't uh, typically value or something. want to list these properties. You know, you because what would the value be? What would you pay the commission on? Well, sale price, you know, and is that generally how your contract is written? But there is no sale price. What if we, what if we give them the building as part of the incentive package? Yeah. Or I what guess, if we give I guess them six percent of zero is not a lot for you, is it? So, uh, so you're looking out for your interest right but, now. But right? it might know it. I don't, I don't want to list it. I I don't so need I can to tell that. No, she said somebody else. Somebody right. else. Is so what if what if um who's the firm here? Uh, 
Beverly. Beverly lists it yeah. and they bring a buyer and they want their commission, but there is no sale price. You're going to have to come up with five or 10 or $15,000 from somewhere to give the broker. Well, gosh, I guess I'd rather pay $15,000 to a broker for a known cost than pay $15,000 to tear asbestos out of a building that we don't even, this property is just costing us money every month. What does this cost us every month, uh, Jessica? I have over $3,000 a month in, in just utility bills. I haven't seen the utility bills. But, but I mean, I looked at the last month and the month before, and obviously it's going to be more in December than it is in January, but the $36,000 a year, I'd be happy to write you a check right now for 36 grand if you can make it go away and make taxable value on it. But we haven't done that yet. We haven't done anything since December 12th when we moved out. We've been marketing it. Yeah. Right. It's not even on our own website. It's redevelopment sites in the village of Weston. It's not there. Can we get it there tomorrow? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. How about even some uh, banners or something out the front? Can we have a four by eight sign out there that yeah. says? We can do that. I agree. Oh, one eight hundred new municipal your, center or something. W make a sign because they're like five hundred dollars to make a sign like that. Well, who's the nice. sign company? Super lettering. Super lettering. Yeah. yeah they charge like five seventy five like ten years ago when I got my last sign from them. So is our sign well, department make I a sign? We could, yeah, could, our sign could our sign department make a sign? Why can't our guys? That's what I asked about. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, why Give them call 359-6114 and gosh, I bet there's somebody. Ask for John. Ask yes, for John. Yeah. That's great. Ask for Jasper. You made all the links. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We have a value piece. Piece of property. So what do we? Yeah. Excuse me. Yes. Please. Hello. Is there a cost in there? Go ahead. Is there a cost for this property? I don't know. We asked when we put out our RFP, we asked for people to bring proposals with that cost. We didn't put a price on it. Well, having that building contaminated in the property, that decreased the value of the property. Yes. Right? And we can't sell it because even if we sell it with that contamination, it will still be liable for it. That's why I'm encouraging you to remediate the asbestos yeah. before we transact the property. We have, we have numbers right. on asbestos remediation for the June 1st meeting. Is that really realistic? Any, just any kind of an estimate, just ballpark number? 10 grand, 20 grand, 50 grand. Well, I think we should have some value before even yeah. we walk in this No, I mean, I mean to remove the asbestos. We have to remove the asbestos regardless. So Is, does right. anybody have any yeah. kind of ballpark on the removal? Of yeah, let's just get somebody in there. It was in the ARP what? That's all we get from this Mabel company. What do you know when? He wants to meet, he just said he's able to meet this week. <laughs> when were they tasked to get this number once we found out there's an asbestos in there a couple weeks ago? Um, I talked to him today. North Star, did they do that too or no? Yes. Who's Mabel? Uh, K-Tech, do they do it? REI you? directed me to this company. I said, well, we've, we've, always, we've always used Mabel. There was a different company for a while, but I think they might have moved out of town. There was somebody out of Mosin But every house we've burned for as long as I can remember, we've always used Mabel systems. Okay. I, I would guess, and don't take me for gospel here, but just the houses that we burned and the amount of square footage, I would guess they're looking at like ten to 20,000. Okay. That's, that's at least something to grab onto. Okay. Well, utilities, can we do some of that. Yeah, as far as off, yeah, we Why probably not? don't have to heat and cool that building right now. Right? Yeah, I mean, we have the temperature way down, right? I mean, we're not heating that building, but yeah, no, 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 we we shut down, we shut down all the furnaces with the exception of two, like over the winter. And then actually, I had just talked to Roman recently and said, let's shut everything off as far as heat and cooling. Um, so we still have electricity. We still have to operate. We haven't there yet. Yeah. Yeah. We will. We still have to operate the overhead doors because the loader's still sitting over there. Um, Skidsters over there because the cold patch. So we have to have a way to load the cold patch up into the hot box, etc. So we still have to have utilities as far as opening the doors, etc. There. Why? Why can't all that just come over here? Because we don't have a place for the cold patch. We don't have a shed for it. That'll be part of the salt shed. Oh. Yeah, so it's still over there. So they're still loading the hot box over there with the skid sear. So we keep it inside the building over there. Okay, it's going out with the salt shed. So, so wait a minute. So it, until the salt shed, when are we thinking the salt shed is going to get built? It, it, the bid documents, I believe, has October. It has an October fit completion date in it. We can sell this building. So we need to have a plan to get everything out of that old building. Everything. Yeah, and, 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 and if push comes to shelf, we'll just store it outside. Yeah.
Well, I think we should do that now. I think, yeah. I think we should get in the practice of getting all that crap out of the, the field and everything. There's tons of stuff over there. And we, we got to go over there and, and basically walk away, except for the water utility, and say nothing else is here of value. Now let it go. Sure. And then we don't have to go over there anymore. I mean, if we're looking at October, let's get that thing. I think we need. A, I think we need a sunset date to let's, be out of out and done with that building. Like tomorrow, thirty days realistic. Yeah, I mean, you want the whole like all the castings and stuff and the pipe and that should all come over. Or can we say July first? What's going to happen is it's going to be last minute, and then all the stuff that you had not planned, you're going to now have to move it because somebody wants it. We do thirty days in the building, thirty days out back. Is that fair? Yeah. So what's the date? Clean date other than water. July 15th. I mean, the utility guys will be out of there before that. Okay. Right. June 15th, that will be out of the building. Sooner? I mean, our, uh, they're assembling their desks and we need to put a faucet on. And there's faucet arrived. And the faucet arrived today. No, All we, right. we, we picked it yeah. up by accident yeah. before 4th of July. Then. Yeah. I mean, do we want that to be the date by 4th of July? I think by uh, end of June. So I'd month. say July 1st. I think that's a good. That's 30 days plus some. Um, right. I Fine. think that's a good number. Fine. All right, here we go. So that's enough on that, right? Are we going to list it though? Do we have to get an RFP or some kind of a, if we're going to put it broker, are we going to send out bids or what does that look like? Right, we're going to have Mr. Yonker make a sign. What's the sign going to say? What do they call? Yeah. What do they do? Yeah. I think that's got to be Kristen. Me? What? They can call me. I think it's got to be you. I don't. I don't know if I want to bring a third party broker no. in here. I. I wouldn't. No. What's not knowing. Fee? Not knowing what we're going to do with it. You know. No. What's that? What is your fee? I was. I'm. Not, I'm discharging you my hourly fee. Yeah. Hourly right now. Mm -hmm. Hundred and fifty dollars an hour. Okay. We're good with that. No question. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Don't you think that's a good idea to praise the property, see what's worth it at least? We know what we're giving away if we want to give it to somebody as an incentive. As because what? I don't know what's the, what's the value of it. Of the existing building or the property? Of the, the property. Of the property, okay. Well, More than the worth it, nothing I, really. Yeah, the building, well, we kind of don't want the building there. We, we would like that to go away because somebody would go in there and start using that building and then it just still sits there. I it won't agree. be a catalyst. Yeah. So if, if the building's gone and, and it's you know a, a brand new building spot, um, I thought Greg said six to seven hundred thousand for that property. Two million. What? Two million. Not a chance in hell. That's what he said. No, I, I, that's a number. Oh yeah. yeah. If we bought this property here for a million, there is not a chance in hell we'd get seven acres over there for two million. No way. If this is a million plus those two corner lots, so do he estimate three more acres or four more acres? He no. estimated about three dollars per square foot. Yeah. Okay, I, I can't do math on that. So I, I, I agree with what you're saying, though. I mean, this this is on a higher traffic road than yeah. that is. Yeah, six or seven is what I heard in the past. So that three dollars bring you to that number? Mm -hmm. The two million? No. Oh, to six or seven? Okay. Right. I'd be and just happy. I'd be happy to get three quarters of this property paid for. We paid a million for this. I'd love to get seven hundred fifty for this. We get a million? What we could do with cartwheels? I would be to get this property for that property all day long. And if this person wants to take it down himself because he might do some metal and whatever scrap, whatever, that'd be great. But you just say that we find the value. I know we might, depending on what goes so. there. Yeah. I mean, something incredible that goes there, boy, that'd be huge. If we're marketing it, do we want to make that a stipulation of marketing to any potential buyers that the building is gonna needs to needs to be raised? Whether it's buildings. Yeah. I think depending on the, the user, if, if I was coming in to develop it, I would want it gone. I would want you to take it down for me. Right. But this particular Unless. person is possibly wanting to do that all themselves. Yes. Okay. So I think that's going to be two different deals. I think if we end up listing it with you for an actual value amount and it's all cleaned up, maybe this guy doesn't go it, then we got to maybe rethink your, your payment. Because I don't think that'd be fair at uh, 150 bucks an hour. So that's my point. So anyway, but we're not there right now. No. So I think right now we are. What's, what's the path forward, I guess, is my. Yeah, we want to put it out there. We want to get it out there. Inquiries or do you have something that'll go here? I don't know. Sign up on by the building first from home. Probably the best. 
because I've had people ask all the different times, well, what are what are you doing with that building? What yeah, you, you know, right right now they don't know who to call. Maybe that's a good point. Yeah. Would that be good for you? We have to do something. Gotta just get, let's just, some let's just get some numbers out there. Let's just get it on our website and who to call and start talking. Yeah. I think and I think getting that asbestos removed as soon as possible. When I drive through, well, I don't know the seven acres. I don't think anybody knows that kind of acres are there. No. Yeah. Yeah. And if you wouldn't mind just letting know we're removing I getting that asbestos. Yeah. So yeah. If that's gonna motivate them and to get back to you we hope and start development. Yeah. One more question. Please let us know that. Okay. Yeah. Jen, do we, do we need, if we intend to sell this, do we need to bring this to planning and get it rezoned? You're not going to yeah. want to rezone it until you have a. Until you know, until you have a year. She's going to have to. He's right. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's fine. You don't want to be family or it could be, you don't know. Yeah, right? So we have, we, I don't think we have to take probably. action and we just move forward, right? Correct. All right. 54 discussion and or action on creating and filling of a dedicated human resources position for developed staff. I think we just, I mean, I think uh, I think uh, Steve put it on here. We've talked to uh, Chief Finke about that, that we would share that with Safer. Mm -hmm. uh, talked to Al Opal already about that. He thought that was a good idea too. Mm -hmm. And I talked uh, to Al, I talked to Gaylene actually. Yeah. Oh, you did? I talked to Al. Oh. What? what did Gaylene have to say? They were interested. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we didn't get in depth into anything. It was, I talked to Mark about this probably 18 months ago, maybe at least. Yeah. Right. I know we talked about it before. Gaylene didn't sound very. No, not when I spoke to her, though. That's not saying she couldn't have changed her mind. But, but you did talk to her. Yes. And she's a long time ago. Yes. I think we can. I mean, we got some very, some, we can afford something like this with years. And I also thought the police department, too. Uh, I don't know if Clay's at, you know, on that, but I don't know. Maybe that's, you know, that's a lot to do with the police department. I, I'll tell you, I, that might be something that we don't agree on. But, but this person does take over the, the EMPD, too. And uh, there's some serious stuff out there. Why one wrong, one wrong move, and that's some yeah. big stuff. So I mean, I certainly can't help. I can you know common sense it. You know, you're doing your stuff. I mean, so was Clay. And if we can uh, dovetail it into here. That'd be fantastic. So how does that? And we need to get together to find what the rules would be. We're gonna have budget challenges with it. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't think we could pretend that we can be the HR people here. We can't do that. We're, none of us are qualified here. Nobody on staff is qualified to do it, yet we pretend that we can. Well, the next administrator may be having some expertise in that area. Maybe, maybe. I think the, I don't mean any offense when I say this. I think the administrator right now has a lot on their plate already yep. as it is. Yep. There's a lot of growth going on here that's not gonna stop. I think I think we need to have a dedicated person that can handle this. I don't. If we think hired an administrator that's going to have the, uh, the the slash HR also. We're going to probably get that administrator ten percent of their time. So especially if we're in the safety departments. But you got 33, 34 employees here. I think we owe it to our employees yeah. that they right. have someone they can go to the second they have a problem. And they know they're going to get that answer, not have to. I have to wait because someone's in a you know a, a meeting or something like that. Someone that if if there's a God forbid a, a sexual harassment claim or something that they can go that, to that person could be in a dual role either. I don't no, think that person could be their no. boss. You can't be. You can't be in a dual. Yeah. yeah. I, I think uh, the That's HR. I think the HR committee would welcome this big time. Yeah. It's something right. that we should bring up to them too. We want to mm -hmm. just kick this to the HR. Yeah. With, yeah. Let's kick it there. Yeah. Okay. With some direction as to as far as to what we want to have to see come out of this though. I think it needs to include safer, safety, possibly EMPD, and maybe remote. Yeah, maybe remote. I'll talk to Alex. Figure out how to finance it because I'm not going to finance it. Yeah, I know. We really keep the people we have here. We can't afford the increases we just gave. I really think we need to look at the budget season before you try to put in another employee that we can't afford. Well, we wouldn't be. I mean, what kind of percentage are we talking? You know, so if the if the if we take on what 25 percent yeah then we have to pay more to stay for our average metro to pay back to us to afford this hr person it's a whole hr person it's probably close to a hundred thousand dollars benefits twenty thousand for health insurance eighty thousand starting salary it's just something i think we need to before you you can go forward but I don't think we should be hiring someone until you can make sure they can fit in the budget. 
Mm -hmm. I have been my concern all along. Well, I don't know how you're going to do it. We can't afford the increases that we keep giving anyway. Our net new construction is 1.5%. You're so you're, you're talking about the increases, increases that we just gave. 5 for and, wages. and we're we're also doing a study on much, much larger increases than that. That we, yeah. we can't afford what we're doing can't now, afford. but we're going to do a study on the directors and or possibly the whole staff. And even do larger ones. I'm not going to say it needs there, but we need to get through the budget process this year after those generous increases that we received to see how it's going to fit into the budget. Okay. We can't move any more streets over to CIP. I mean, so we're, we've, we're I, almost to the limit there. Yep. So I just want to clarify though the generous um, increases are you're talking about the 5%. Yes. Okay. okay. Good. Right. Can we can we at least create work on do the behind the scenes work? Maybe try to get the position created, but not fill it. What the position would look like? Yeah, I think that that would be a good idea. But it won't pull. And that would maybe give. Would that give you a better direction if it I was? I think hey, that would be fair because then. Safer is thirty percent, and we're thirty percent, and EPD is forty percent, or whatever. To her point is. though, we're paying over seventy percent for EPD. So if EPD pays yeah. for it, seventy percent is coming out of us. Sixty-six percent. Is paid out of safer. So, you know, every time we talk about this and you talk about this fair trade thing, it's not happening. We, we just went through a thing to, to a safer meetings ago, and they're going to do $40,000 for the remodeling, and they want to charge us $30,000 of it and, and, and go towards deal. And I said, that's fine. That's fine. Go ahead. And then we're going to go backwards and look at our $2.2 million thing at safer and this next $2 million thing. We're going to end up probably getting 150 to 200 grand out of remodeling. We've already paid ourselves, so that's done. And that was squashed pretty quick. Plus the attorney said no. Uh, Shane Vanderwall said absolutely not. Nothing uh, over what? Over 3,000. Yeah, was it? Yeah, okay. I mean, it was just, it, honestly, it was a little silly there because we're really getting along pretty well. And I thought, oh my God. Oh. So Sorry. I guess I'll make a motion to task the HR committee okay. with creating a HR position um, in collaboration I'm with just exploring. Okay. Because tasking, then you're actually okay. going to. Yep. It. Yep. All right. So let me start over. Make a motion to the HR committee to explore creating an HR position in collaboration with Rip Mountain, EMPD, and Safer. I'll second. Okay. Motion by Corner, second by Hardinger. Can I ask one question, Mark? Anything more on the discussion? Discussion. Um, with the possible increase in shared revenue, Jessica, do you think this is something that could be funded through that? Possible. I get that it's there's possible. a lot of unanswered questions hey, there. I already talked about that too. Yeah. The shared oh, I understand. I said that this position is increasing 5% a year and our shared revenue increases is increasing too. I mean, that's part of our problems that we commit these funds to something that's increasing more than we can keep up with. Yeah. I understand that. The reason, I mean, this comes up at an interesting time. I mean, we just we found a mistake that we made internally with our WRS payments that. We're trying to work through now. I am not an expert on WRS. I mean, and they're like, didn't you read the manual? Have you seen the size of that manual? I don't look through that every day. I mean, you know, and then there's, um, so we made a mistake dating back to 2019. So now we have a ton of work to go back and, and recalculate all this stuff. And Nicole at the town who does all their WRS, she said, I didn't know that formula was in there. So, I mean, you know, that's just one example of something that is now going to take a ton of work and we're going to have to go back and figure out all this background stuff of, of calculations that we've been doing wrong for four years. So, so it could um, be to our benefit. Yeah, I mean, and there's, you know, there's mistakes like that. There's no, it won't be to our benefit. There's mistakes like that. And then, you know, like Steve had mentioned before, you know, right now people come to me and, you know, I understand the gist of our health care, but we hire a new employee and it's hard as to hire employees. And then we get somebody in our office that we're maybe negotiating with and ask a health care question. And my answer is, I don't know, you know, I can find out maybe let you know next week. And well, that doesn't give them a whole lot of confidence in our organization. And I completely understand what Jessica's saying. I fully under call. Give them their number. Where yeah, they but I can't get a hold of people half the time. And then it's, then I get the, well, you have to ask Corey. And so now I usually just ask Corey. Yeah. Are you um, kidding? Yeah. Because I, I, I've had to learn when Sherry just left, I had learned all the WRS, all the W2s, all the health insurance, all the payouts. Is the agent, right? Yeah. Or is their health insurance? That's who you should talk to. Period. Yeah. But again, you know, it's it's a spur of the moment thing because they're trying to make a decision when I got somebody in my office and 
So again, not, not huge stuff, but it's just, it's one of those things where other organizations can pull their HR person in there to just give that person a little bit more confidence, I think. Okay, so we're done. Yes. I, did we uh, vote? Did we don't? No, we didn't vote. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Yeah, right, where am I? So 55. 55. We're getting there. Discussion and or action on confirmation of job titles for public works, parks, employees. Cool. Uh, this came back from the Human Resources Committee. Thank you, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Thank you. Is this done in closed session? So, is this, I, I, I guess the motion would be suggested just to accept. This, this is with those um, inconsistencies in job titles that were not carried forward from prior years. Public works operator, public works senior operator. We're fixing the problem. We're just correcting titles, right? We're yes. not, we're not, nothing else changed. No pay. Yeah. There's no pay increases. No, no this is just good. Looking for a motion to approve. Motion approved is presented uh, by Pinnasol, second by Hermeling on the question. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, so carried. Uh, let's see, 56 discussion and or action on peer communities for PAA compensation study. So this is a similar issue. Human Resources Committee agreed with the uh, proposed peer communities in the uh, compensation review with the addition of Stevens Point. I have a question on this, and I was going to bring this up last time, and it, we kicked it forward to this month, but we're only doing we're, on, we're not we're only doing the directors, correct? We're not doing every position village wide right for how much money how much is this going to be ten thousand we have twenty five thousand dollars earmarked in arpa for this purpose and part of me after going through everything we went through with hr wonders why we're not finding a company that can do a village that can do a study village wide every position that we have instead of just the director instead of just the directors part of it was because we could one for one tally with the, the study that was just up for Marathon County, because we had positions that, I mean, married right to their description. The reason that we're having to do this for the directors is because the study that the county had didn't have similar positions. So we've had to find other municipalities and agencies with positions that are closely tied to the directors here. And that's what they're gonna pick and pull to try to compare those study to. That's that was the recommend, recommendation from the HR. Correct. I, I remember. I, I was I, I was there that night. I just now things have changed. I mean, we since that meeting, we've changed a bunch of different positions and titles. I, I, I to me, I've lost track of where we're at with that. Maybe you have. Maybe you haven't. I'm just asking why. Why are we not finding a company that can do this? for every position in the village. We have the funds in ARPA for it. I understand, and I, and I again, I mean, if that's the direction of the board, the committee will do whatever you guys are gonna advise us to, but uh, my point is the, the, the study that was just done for the county um, marries up to 90% uh, of our positions now that we can, and that was one of the reasons that this came back here is because we hadn't caught up to that yet. So we can actually take their study and go, this is exactly what our guy does. This is the level of qualifications to have. Mike can take that look, do his checklist down, dip it down, check it down, falls in this category. It's not an easy process to understand at all. It really isn't. And I, it, it took me a while, a lot of meetings with him to figure it out too. But we have the ability now to take exactly what the information is that they got for that study and make sure that our people are at least competitive with similar positions. Okay, so we'd be paid for something that we can get for nothing. Right. Yeah, that was kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just yeah. going yeah. right. yeah. yeah. along. I'm not knocking any hard work that anybody here has done. I want to be transparent about that. I just. It's been a process. I'm 100% with you. It's been exhausting. Okay. And when was the last time that we had this done village wide? 16. If I remember right, 2016, Michael? Or was that what you said? No, I think it was longer than that. 13 or 14. 14. It's even longer than that then. When we got that information back then, did we act on it? Yeah. Or not? All right, so what's the uh, expectation here? If we get this information from the study, what's the expectation? If we can pay for it. Your recommendations are probably doesn't move people immediately. I mean, there, there was a 
But there is no the process that was. But the expectation is it'll still get voted on. It's not uh, whatever is whatever comes back in the study is automatic. It's automatic. Well, we, no, it's not automatic. Okay. Right. Whatever is brought up, I guess, would have to be evaluated and see what's doable. See if it's in the HR committee. Committee. See how it can be implemented. Okay. All right. Is part of this uh, like a time study or evaluation of duties, or is it just you know, is this evaluation of yeah, job duties, 14 hours a week doing this, but I'm sorry. average we should spend six hours a week doing this, or it's not to that? No, it's what what are your job responsibilities? So this is just in general what are our job responsibilities, but it doesn't actually look like we don't actually follow our folks around here and see how do they fit in that box or what do our guys and gals do. Or that would be more along the lines of an organizational study, organizational that would identify where some of the gaps are, where over if you know, people are overextended, if if we need other positions. That was another potential uh, outcome of the strategic plan as well. That would be a different level of study. The study does include recommendations for compensation adjustments, though, correct? Or compensation for the directors. I mean, when I'm reading the of comparable duties in the, in the peer communities, yes. It says PAA has asked that we approve the list of peer communities for comparison of compensation and job duties. Right. So they'll look at job description, job duties, okay. and yes. Yes. So the notice here. Notice here actually working with the group. No. See what's going on. I was gonna say we, we all the directors or anybody whose position was being evaluated, you know, we we're asked to take our job description and say, you know, I do this task, you know, 10% of the time. This is one I do 5% of the time. So they have that data from us. You know, and then kind of, you know, what are your you know, what's the education required? What are the you know skills, tasks? Kind of knowledge that that position should have. Okay, so we're looking at uh, adding to this point and then going with this. Right. Motion to uh, by Ermling. Second. By Wylan. Any more discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. So carried. Discussion and or action on SCADA system bid results. So we'll get over the SCADA uh, fiber optic project to A1 for the bid amount of three hundred twenty nine thousand seven hundred forty eight. And also with the SCADA's update project, so PJ Curtains and the company to include both alternative one and two for total amount of 590,750. For then the total SCADA project amount of $920,508. I'll second. Motion by Zagami, second by Hardinger. Any more on the discussion? I, I have something for the discussion. Michael, okay. that is the right um, company name, the right company. A1 Power. Yep, I had excavating last time. It's actually A1 Power. It's their power well, division, not their excavating division. I just wanted to verify. Yeah, I knew there was a. Okay. So, minor tweet. No, it's okay. But I mean, we just want to make sure that was right. Yeah. Jessica, we're. You're okay with this? It's funded by utility and I. We're, Michael and I were just talking today. Um, having an up to date system, we would have caught the carry thing a while ago. And maybe, well, the well was down for our well rehab. Maybe we could have replaced the pump right away, but not knowing the pump was bad because the SCADA information was not good, it needs to be replaced. Okay. I'm sure we have accurate information. Thought it has. There's a redundant system. Good question. I was watching her. I was well, watching the I, Shaking her head, no. She got the wild there a couple minutes ago. So <laughs> paying attention. I am paying attention. The budget is very, I'm very passionate about. I know you are. Budget. I am listening. And you I, have my ears. Uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. So carried. The discussion and or action on request for street light at Birch Street and Box Hill Court. Move to approve. Move to approve by Zagami. Second. Second by Hardinger. Any more in the discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. I had a gal, uh, a resident, I should say, um, uh, poked me quite a few times and said she needs two uh, lights over in the power subdivision. So I told her to get me the stuff. We'll evaluate. It is dark. You know why I'm talking about. 
Uh, 59 discussion and or action on surplus auction items. What are we talking about? Army gear, you know, boots, fatigues, what? I saw uh, shelving. I did read the packet. What 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 liability could come back on us for selling that press? So I actually, mean, if it's sold at an auction, it's no longer our responsibility. So hold it, it's sold? Just well, said, I'm just saying if it's if it's sold, why is it our responsibility if someone gets hurt? It, it's not um uh, the committee member Mumper just wanted us to verify that there wasn't going to be any liability. Um, oh, good. Okay. So, um, you know, talking to the auction site, they didn't believe, you know, that everything is sold as is. It's the buyer's responsibility to check it out. Uh, I was also going to check over here with uh, the gentleman well, to my left. It's and, an as is auction. Yeah, it's as, okay. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. People so, I move to declare the above property surplus and authorize staff to sell all of these items, including lot 13. By Cronin. Second. Second by Hussein. Uh, any more on the discussion? Yes. You'll probably identify more things if you move all your stuff over. Right? Yeah, yeah, so this will probably be more of a, I mean, we usually do this, you know, three, four times a year, so. And can you list any of the outbuildings or the salt shed on a public surplus auction as well? Because I've seen many of those things for, for sale of you, you come to my site and tear it down and you have to have insurance to tear that but down. We might have a potential person that thinks that these buildings are theirs if they buy this, to tear down themselves. Yeah. We're not selling buildings, right? So now. I, no, no. So everything comes to you guys first before we go and okay. All right, sell it. I just want to say that's another potential yeah. option. If we're going to pay to tear these things down, that you could have someone pay you to come and take it down and they yeah. would be yeah. licensed insurance. That's all we got. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. So, any more discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. So carry. Discussion and/or action on Weston Avenue and Alderson Street roundabout colored concrete discussion. So Weston Avenue and Alderson. So that's the famous intersection that a resident used to have a camera on mm -hmm. and used to call it the police department almost daily. Really? Yeah. Do you remember? Yep. At, at least daily. Make a dead stop at that yep. stop. At least daily. Yep. 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 And uh, would show us uh, film after film after film after film after film. Yep. So I would purposely go over there with somebody else's car and roll through there. <laughs> <laughs> I should say that. Uh, I actually did. So usually, usually, usually John Plisky's truck. <laughs> anyway, I should have said that. I can't remember. His name. I would take my, I'm sorry, Steve. I have a question. Is this the roundabout design we're looking at for the center section? Um, I know that, that red one is kind of an approximate that I'm not actually sure what intersection that is. That was a, a Google image. Um, this one here is the preliminary. I know there's been a couple changes that we talked about. This was at the public information meeting. All right. um, I, I know we talked about trying to shift it south so that uh, a little bit to get it, uh, get that driveway on the northeast corner. I have a mouse here. I can do this um, to try to get this driveway uh, so it's not right on the island here. Um, this all works within our right away. Yeah, there'll be a little bit of right away that. So not really. Yeah, but it, it, we have to buy for nothing from the no residents. We We'd have to buy some. So we'll have to buy some from um, uh, Zinzers here. But the other three corners are Rothschild's corners. Yeah, that's just. And they're okay with this. Yep. This was. Uh, we've, we've had and, discussion. And, uh, how much more is no. the project with the colored cement? So the, there was going to be red in there anyways. Why? That's what it's in the spec. That's kind of the spec can be Kenny Architects again. You know, they're not paying for it. It's, oh, it's, do you know what red, do you know what colored cement does? Do you know that it completely contaminates the entire truck? And red is the worst color to use and blue. Those are the two worst ones. So when that contaminates that truck, you got to tear down that entire truck to go back to regular cement. Sure. That's how expensive this is going to be. All because somebody else ain't paying for it. And why does, well, hell, if it's going to be red, it should be green for us. So, so that's the, yeah. That's oh, the past. That? No, Jim, actually. I guess. I guess the reason I was asking, there's an intersection in that subdivision by Rennie's that has a roundabout that's like not. Yeah. It just looks small. So I didn't want it to be something that's like put there as a roundabout because it's a roundabout. I want it to be functional. Right. If it's going to be a roundabout. Rennie's is only a three. It is a three, three but that, but the curb and gutter lines are still the same as a normal yeah. street, but there's like a 
It's weird. It was our first practice. And then the one over yeah. where I live is the second practice. Yeah. So I guess I just wanted to make sure it wasn't going to be another situation like that. Yeah. Like, no, it'll be, kind of just a waste. it'll be more of a Why traditional. It'll just be moanable. Because the architect said so. I mean, is there a, a functional no, reason no, why? It's the architect Some of it's the, the vision. Um, there are roundabout standards that the DOT has. You know, you're putting a roadway hazard out there. So some of the color is to um, kind of alert the driver that there is something there. And we're going to start doing that now because we didn't do it at, at where I go. I'm just saying. But, but that one is it. We've got vegetation in the middle. One's, yeah. This one's all. This one's fully mountable. So you can no drive problem. over that middle because it's oh, a mini ours, roundabout. Ours is fully mountable. <laughs> it's mounted all the time. <laughs> Fridays and Saturday nights, all the time. Yep. <laughs> a lot of beer cans, a lot of crap. Yep. Okay, so you're saying that this shows it's a different, it's not so, something. Yeah, so this would be, so like the middle part of that roundabout where you can drive up on it, that's how this whole middle will be. It'll, you know, so if an ambulance or a fire truck, a school bus needs to go through there, they can, you know, they can drive over it. Yeah, but I, you know, just a minute here. So, so the one on, uh, um, you know, out on SS or school, uh, Ross yeah. Avenue, it has the, the grass area. Correct. And then it has another area. You could actually park on there. When I take signs down from there, I just park in the middle. So that does not have that? Or is that a whole round thing? That whole, that whole round, round thing. thing. Yeah, there's no okay. grass. There's no. So half of the one on SS is for emergencies or. It's trucks. for the truck trailer, essentially, to drag around the corner. So this is that whole area. Correct. Okay. And why? Because That's what fits in there. If you try to put up, I, I know, but you could do it half. You could make the inner circle vegetation. I don't you get a semi. You went, yeah. yeah. Is that, the, the radius is a lot smaller. Um, it's like a third of the size of the Ross. Yeah. Right? This radius is smaller than oh, well, a lot. It smaller. will be. Yeah. Well, interesting. Okay. Otherwise, those houses would have to essentially be bought up. So everything is multiple. So all the, the the middles, the sides, everything. So you're gonna be cutting curbs all the time, making those corners up. Huh? If we're not, yeah, I guess that was where I was going with this. If we're not acquiring land to do this mm -hmm. properly, do we even need to put a roundabout there, or do we just? The other, so the other option that was looked at, into, that's a roundabout corner. Yeah, the other option that was looked at for design was adding dedicated right turn lanes in every direction, which would have required right of way to be purchased right. anyway. I'll just do the roundabout. Yeah, that, that is a perfect corner for a roundabout. Um, it just is. Um, but have we did it with two different colors? No, we haven't yet. It's not even, you know, I guess we got through the, so what the public we, information meeting so, was. So on Ross Avenue and Camp Phillips, we put that uh, green stuff in yep. from Steam Stadium, Steam Stadium. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. And then the other one is red. Correct. Is that red stained? That was red concrete. concrete red con so steamed. So no, I, I meant, so we actually oh, poured it red. Poured yeah, it red. Did we pour it individually from the village? Because I think I saw the guys out there. Yeah, we did that. So we didn't use a concrete, uh, a concrete truck. We actually mixed it ourselves. No, we, we had county materials or oh, one of those guys okay. deliver it. Wow. They both look really nice. I mean, Hussein, you see that all the time. Yeah. I got a lot of comments, you know, from Jackie Bender that said she really likes it. Hmm. Right. Let's go ahead. Did you, did you actually have a price in there as far as colored concrete? There is no price in there yet. I guess the whole thing was, do we want to actually keep pursuing working? Yeah, so that's that's what he's, yeah. So motion to approve by Zagami. Well, no, he's just a concept. Second. Yeah. Second by. Now in the discussion. Pin assault. And now for the discussion. You want me to say something? No. Yes, so please. I just asked about the cost of the colored concrete because, you know, we're at the 120, 130 ish range, depending on per yard of standard concrete. And in the past, colored concrete was at least another 50 per yard. So if you're looking at the actual cost, um, you know, you're about 170 a yard versus 120. Thousand dollars there. Just, just to give you a, a, a kind of a dollar amount on it. That's just cost of the concrete. That's just cost of the concrete, correct? It never should be the same down. whether it's green or white or. Yeah, I was going to say the rest. Yeah. Of Is there another mini roundabout in the area that I can use as reference? Yeah, we have one on uh, Van Cannell. That's mm -hmm. not a mini. It's not a mini. Oh yes, it is. On Van Cannell? Yeah. 
No, it's not. Wanna, it's, it's, got, it's, it's got vegetation in the center of it. That's not a mini roundabout. Yeah, how big is that vegetation? It doesn't matter. It's got vegetation. Classified as a mid-sized roundabout. It, it's, the end it's not a mini. That's, that's what I'm getting at. Do we, have, do we have another mini? No. Not. Uh, here this too. I just struggle to see how this is going to be functional. You need Can you pull up that? Um, it's not even that. The semi in the it's really not. It's I, I honestly, see your it's serious. not. I can see your serious. Okay. You hate them too? Yes. Oh, I love them. I love I, them. I'm not opposed to them in strategically placed areas, but a mini roundabout to me just kind of this this doesn't. I just don't see this working right here. I really don't. I didn't either when I looked at it. That's such a busy intersection. I think you're gonna get buses and cars coming off Alderson there, and you're never gonna get it between them. Personally, you're it's never gonna be used as it's in, as a roundabout is intended to be used. They're gonna go flat. No, it, it, so the, the middle is still. You know, nobody's going to be going flying. You, you, you'll have to go around the circle. Michael, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You've seen it. You've seen trying to get up there during, like, before or after school. It's a steady line of cars out there. So yeah, no, I drove through that intersection. I'm just saying, I think they're not just going to come not out on a mini. Here, and you're going to end up sitting on that road just waiting for a break. But, so I go through this intersection multiple times a day with where I live. And even like today, I had to go through there because of the detour on Camp Phillips. Me and one other car. We both easily could have just gone. Yeah. But instead, we stopped. The guy stared at each other. Made me through. I start going. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, he started going. I'm like, what are you doing? That's what happens all the time. It happens at like, stop sign. Move. Um, and I guess I'm feeling a little frustration and I'm trying not to uh, let it go. <laughs> but the board has already has approved the roundabout design at this intersection multiple times. Um, and I guess the only question was, do we want to look at going with green concrete instead of red? Not, do we, what are we doing here? Red is more expensive than green. Oh, I or I would go green all day long. Yeah. Yep. So, Trustee Pitsenault at the time was trustee elect, I believe. Michael and I attended a public informational meeting at the Village of Rothschild with design engineer, gave some video displays of a roundabout that was working in a area near a school and talked about how functional the roundabout was relative to the four-way stop or whatever number of stop controls it was. So I think some of these thoughts that these things are not functional and don't work right sometimes are a little bit you could get a uh, you could get a half a dozen semi drivers and go in here and they'd be just fine. Uh, the one in Merrill was flat out not going to work. No way in hell what the hell are they doing. And six of our drivers went down on our Saturday, uh, full of donuts, and drove around that damn thing like a parade and couldn't believe it. Uh, even the cops came and asked us what we were doing, but they just had to prove it that that could work. If this is designed by who? Who designed this? MSA. Done. It's going to work. Yeah, so this is a turning radius of a full size school bus going Green around. Green with a big E in the middle. Actually, my suggestion was the, the fancy tree today. Yeah, there you go. Who's paying for this? We're, we're only one, one quarter. And then we're, we're one quarter and Rothschild's the other three quarters. And no county, no state, no nothing. No. Well, there is a DOT grant in this project. We've got they love this stuff. Yeah. A little uh, uh, broadband there and <laughs> Yeah. 135 million dollars into it today. So yeah. All right. So let's move on. Uh, so I I sorry, I have one quick question. Yeah. What is the motion? Uh do we have one yet? Yes. Is it, is it up in the air? Yeah, it's I up in the air. I heard that it was approved. Yeah. Yeah. The motion is to go. Yep. Move to approve. Move to approve. Second by. Are we moving to approve the color or moving? No. So for no, public works, it was to continue with the design and uh, that then bring back any cost differences. Okay. okay. Thank you. Move to the color next because that'll be a spirited conversation too. Um, second by. Jim. By Jim. Awesome. Sure. I'll any more discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. <laughs> I'm gonna get you a roundabout, a little play one. <laughs> All right, say hey. We're at closed session. Um, yeah, we'll have two minutes, but you want to move into closed session first? Yes. Yeah, so let's move into closed session per 19.85 parent one, parent C. Uh, move to closed session to you want me to read all this? Yeah. You have to. All right, I have to move to closed session to consider employment, promotion, compensation, or performance. Evaluation data of any public employee over which the governmental body has jurisdiction or exercises responsibility to wit, wit, uh, dash, 
um, the bullet point, possible promotion of employees to position of crew leader and recommendation for related compensation increase. Bullet point, review, God bless you, review candidates for administrative position. Uh, second one, move to closed session per Wisconsin stat 19.85 parent one parent E, which we're gonna be taking that one first. Deliberating, uh, deliberating, deliberating or negotiating the purchasing of public properties, investing in public funds, or conducting other specified public business whenever competitive or bargaining reasons require a closed session. To wit, what does wit stand for? To witness? All right, to witness. <laughs> bullet point, terms of, I thought you were gonna call me a wit, you know. So bullet point, terms of development agreement with Project Timberwolf. Bullet point, terms of development agreement with Inner City State Bank. And bullet point, terms of development agreement with 6207. RLSS LLC for property at 2300 and 2304 Scofield Avenue. We are uh, motion. Motion for roll call. There's three other bullet points listed. I think this agenda got screwed up, too. Are they the same? No, those are the possible. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. My bad. But we need a motion to go into closed session, please. Motion to, motion to go into closed session. We're in the first full circle, huh? Okay. Yeah. You didn't get off when you're supposed to. Uh, so we have a motion and a second. Uh, wait, we have to do a roll call. Right. Yep. Now you have to do roll. Oh, okay. Now roll call. Okay. Maloney? Uh, yes. Sagami? Yes. Cronin? Yes. Sterling? Yes. Hardinger? Yes. Tensinol? Yes. Wyland? Yes. We are now in the closed session. A two minute um, two minute break. Yes. Position of crew leader and the recommended pay increases. Second. Uh, motion by Cronin, second by Hardinger. <laughs> but you were right on that one. Mm -hmm. uh, any more in the discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Um, the review is on your own. A motion to next one. Go ahead. Defer the review candidates for administrator position to the June 1st meeting. Uh, okay. Second. Um, motion by Cronin, second by Hardinger. Uh, anything on the discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Uh, let's see, moving on to the next three. Um, your thoughts on Timberwolf? Are we? I'll, I'll make the motion uh, to accept the development agreement uh, with uh, no employment attached. Second. Uh, motion by Maloney, second by Cronin. Uh, now on the question. Okay. People have um, clean up their application and take that somebody for the audible, or we just keep it. They're, they're promising it. They can still promise it. We're just not going to hold. We're just not going to hold them accountable. But they've got an in their application that they're going to have up to one hundred. Further, further on the discussion, do yeah. we need to do we need to list the dollar amount in open session? What, what dollar amount? But we already approved yeah. that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We're just agreeing to this. Anything else on the discussion? I think what you're agreeing to is everything that's in the the development agreement without the employee requirement is what you're agreeing, right? I just wanted to, I just wanted to make sure. No, good point. Thank you, Matt. Any more? All right. Um, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. One nay or two nays? One nay. Okay. Um, Pam, yep, did you pass all today? Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, second one uh, agreement with Inner City State Bank. I'll, I'll, I'll do the same one. I'll do it again. Uh, I'll make the motion to approve the agreement with a $150,000 uh, um, ask. Um, uh, incentive. 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 There you go. Thank you. Second. So, motion by myself, second by Cronin. Anything else on Sorry, discussion? can we add a little bit more detail to it? Like, when is the 150 to be paid out? Is okay. there going to be a, an assessed value requirement before we pay it out, timing wise? I think we need to have a little more detail on this one. Whether we're going to do it the, the same way that we did with the Ambrose deal, where we have the amount payable at the time that 
the it's building is completed and has an assessed value of X so amount. Look at that one that was set up on the value hitting a number. Mark, do we need yeah. to, can we reconvene in the closed session for this? Um, well, I don't know. Is it that hard to grab some of these issues? Or the application no? had an estimate of $2.4 million as assessed value for the yeah. bank. You know, so that's from the assessor or that's the applicant's assumption? This is from so this, you know, yeah. is this one that we're thinking that they're not going to build it or whatever, whatever? I'd say no, I think it's going to be fine. But he's got a valid point so on some of the sticking points as far as, okay, how about when are we going to pay it? It spelled out in the Ambrose agreement when we're going to pay it and when the value is going to get there. This one, there is nothing. So when are we paying it right off the bat? So Six months? Say, as similar to the Ambrose agreement. I'll make an amendment to your motion that the $150,000 would be paid out upon completion of a project assessed at 2.4 million. Is that enough? I just need enough detail to be yeah, able to write it in. Okay. Enough. What, what is the total number though? Is 2.4 the total number? Are we going a little less? How about just 2 million? You know, once you're at a $2 million increment, because we're not holding Ambrose to the top. I, I, what's the total of the inner city? He was right? estimating it. Be assessed at close to 2.3 to 2.4. Yeah, so you'd be at so you're 2.2. That's fine. Just two. Okay, I'll just change. Two. Okay, just two. I'll change it. Two million. Okay, I'll I'll change and amend mine also. We have to vote so on that. You have to second my amendment. Yep, I'm second. Okay. So are we voting on that first? Yes. Uh, wait, wait, wait. So payment is on that point. So those are your two trigger points, right? Dollar value and win. So they they're both the same. Okay. So uh, all those in favor of that, say aye. 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 Opposed. Sorry, you have a question? No, just on the amendment. Right? Oh, on the amendment. Yep. Now back on the original motion uh, so, with amendments. I have one quick question. So you were only doing the doubt, the, the assessed value and what it was paid out. It's paid out at the completion of the project, but you're not putting a time limit on it. Um, once they get to a $2 million value of a build, then we'll pay the 150. Okay. Actual valuation. So, um, okay. well, how are we doing Ambrose? Well, who established the value? Assessed. Assessed. Okay. Assessed. Okay. I think that's what I worded in my yeah. motion, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, is there? Now back on the original motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Uh, let's see the last one. Um, I move to yeah. deny the development agreement with 6207 RLSS LLC for the property at 2300 and 2304 Schofield. Do you want to, can we deny it that way or do we want to deny it? The incentive. What are the incentive of? I don't know. Right? Because yeah. we're really going to deny the incentive for the bill. Yeah. I, I'd say we wouldn't want to deny that. Okay. The, let's not deny the project. Let's deny the incentive. Yeah. Okay. So your your motion is I to motion, deny. I motion to deny the incentive associated with any development agreement at 6207 RLSS LLC for property at 2300 and 2304. Still fill that. Not so to accept that. their offer, I think. More yeah. current yeah. offer. Okay, I'm. I apologize. All right. No, I just. Did. So are we to move with that? I just need to move not to accept the offer. Is that? Yeah. Well, as as presented, I like the way he said it. Yeah. Right. Move not to accept the offer as presented. Just trying to soften it up a little. Seconded by Hardinger. Any more in the discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. So carried. Let's see. If we can the open session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did all that. Uh, attorney referral. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I would ask Attorney Yidi, can we get some direction on the fee schedule? Uh, compliance specifically on credit card fees and being compliant. Uh, that our current fee schedule is. I know there's state, federal, and industry guidelines that have changed as of April some of the repercussions may be not being able to accept certain cards and being fined up to $10,000 per instance of being in violation. So it's probably something that's in the village's best interest to spend some dollars in your office to research that. I've seen some uh, pretty heavy um, cards at payment spots, especially um, you know, just different spots that we're gonna add 3%, we're gonna add 4%. Yeah. A lot of restaurants are doing that. They're just being very 
almost in your face about it that just so you know we're going to do this you have to that's all oh, you do that's, oh, that's why it is that's oh. what the card company says and if you don't lay wow. it out that way they can find they can they can tell you we will no longer let you accept the visa card at your store yeah. and oh by the way for every visa that you've swiped since april of 23 we're going to find you ten thousand dollars okay so that would be good we currently use third party providers. We have PSN, and all our credit card payments go through PSN, and then Express Bill pays the other one. So I don't so know if that matters. Can, or and it states on there too that. already that you pay that convenience fee. So, so we rely on so our you, third if, parties. If, if you don't say it, then you're just accepting the money onto yourself. But if you want to try to collect it from them, then you have to be in their face to do it. But right? there's a max you can you can collect. Oh, they yeah. lowered it to like three percent, and we're at like three and a quarter or three and three quarters. Yeah, well, that, that makes total sense that, that we can only get three percent when they can get thirty-two percent. You know, and then fault you twenty-five dollars. Your, your fee cannot exceed what the actual cost from Visa is. Yeah. Wow. You can't make money on pressing. They got. Uh, they definitely are over to they can the cash stores. That's for sure. Okay, so that's a referral to the attorney. Thank you. Uh, staff referrals. Oh, anything from us to the staff? I finally get that one. Anybody want to refer something to the staff? Think you made enough during the meeting? Huh? What? Think you made enough during the meeting? Yeah, probably right. So, oh, with uh, Keith having almost a belly laugh, we'll skip that one. <laughs> oh, Remarks from trustees. <laughs> Remarks from trustees, Jim. And you told me you wouldn't limit me this time, so I'm just saying. I'm sorry, let's go. Oh, oh, not limit you. Sure. I got one too, so. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is this the patient I have coming? No. Okay. Uh -huh. So first, I just want to congratulate Jennifer to, for 20 years of service. I think that's outstanding. Yeah, so ability. So thank you very much for all you do for us. Uh, you do a great job. When is the date? The okay. Those are cupcakes here. I brought in breakfast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And then just secondly, I, I just wanted to thank everybody for, for coming together as a team and working really well at the, uh, the open house. I think it was a huge success. I think it was a great, great experience for staff, officials, and the community. A good step towards transparency and opening that line of communication with folks. Um, thank you. Seriously? That's it? I was prepared. Is that enough? That's yeah. fantastic. I think I'll work on it. No, nope. doing great. Uh, Mr. Hardinger, nothing. Wyland, no. Uh, Stephen, I have a question for Michael. Sure. Um, I got your. I got the notice for water main flushing. Did I'm just curious. I'm just asking. I'm not pointing fingers. Did something change with our water? Because I, I just remember a, a topic coming up that with well seven and eight that we had to get those online before we could do that. And they're not online yet. So I guess I'm just curious what changed. Determine a modified flushing. So we're not gonna, we're, we're flushing the little mains. We were starting to get a lot of qual water quality complaints and uh, no. especially over in this Northwest portion of our system. And quite frankly, it looked like coffee, chocolate milk that was coming out for a while, you know? Really? Yeah. Um, it's kind of the iron manganese deposits just since, and we had flushed that area since, what is this, 23 now? Since 2021. So, um, and so you did a mini flush. So, so we're doing, a, so we're getting all the small lines. We're not going to be able to generate enough um, velocity in the large mains, but we're able to get the six inch mains, which are where a lot of the residential properties come off of. So okay. we have enough capacity to get the six inch mains taken care of, just not the, the 12 inch mains, the 14 inch mains. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I do have a, a remark. Uh, Can't go back. You have to save it for next one. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. I'll get three. I'm curious about uh, how long we have to get suggestions to Nate for the website. That was a hard, firm three o'clock on yeah, Friday. That's Friday. Yes, Friday. That's yep. Friday. Yeah. Yep. Yep. But I meet with them on Wednesday. So if you get them, I'd, I'd be happy to. I had mine done in 10 minutes. Yep. I did too. I, I laughed at when he said a firm three o'clock or something. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. So just you understand the mini flushing? Yeah. Like yeah. The mini flush. flush. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. No. Okay. Yeah. Um, I got to tell you, I, I usually don't have a lot to say right here, um, but I was absolutely so pleased with Saturday. 
I mean, it was just unbelievable. And Jim, you kind of took the, I know, I know you were with Keith too, but you, you really stood up. You really did. And I, I talked a lot about you on Saturday and, um, you know, it's been a kind of a, a kind of a circle. You may not even want to address that or talk about it or even smile about it, but it's been one hell of a circle with you. And like when you were talking Wednesday night in, in here about this place and, and lifting people and lifting the staff up and lifting Weston up, uh, it's just phenomenal. So phenomenal. So I think your wife has rubbed off on you a little bit and that's fantastic. So I'm just teasing. She's a great lady, great lady. But uh, honest to God, and I mean, Keith, your comment about, oh, I think I might be staying, I, and you don't talk that way. But, I, mean, <laughs> I think I should that say that. that. I, I don't know what I was doing. That was that. I, uh, I, do that to, I do that to my one son in law, and he hates it when I do that. that so, but Keith, you I was did. not thinking rationally yeah. at the time. Well, I wrote you were in your man cave or maybe at Clux. You know, I was going to call Clux and, and buy you guys a drink, and I thought, I am not doing that because I don't want anyone in trouble. And I would have been, if you guys were actually went there, did you, did Travis, go with him? Did you watch him? Okay, thank you. Anyway, um, but you said, you know, uh, well, I'm going to do it that way. I'm not, I might not be leaving this year, and I will you know, stay till next year. I you know? lied. And I thought, here you go. <laughs> here you go. But anyway, I, I mean, I heard so many great comments. It was just, it was just amazing. Honestly, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know the crowd you know, it was just unbelievable. And, you know, I'm feeling really good about Safer. And I've been telling you that for about the last six months because we damn near blew the thing up. And it's just going well. And I think Steve will attest to that. And uh, boy, I feel really good about this place. I do. And I have for a while. I really do. I try to have a positive spin. I know I got a little bite to my, my talk sometimes. And I, I wish I didn't, but I guess that's who I am. We still got a few kinks working out, but it, I really like the direction. Right? Yeah, I do too. I'm I'm big. I mean, and honestly, when you, I mean, you were just talking. That wasn't just bullshit. You were talking, and that was really that was from the heart. Good stuff. Really good stuff. No better so, friend and no worse enemy. Well, whatever that means. But uh, anyway, so, no, I know. Four minutes. Make that in a minute. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so awesome, awesome job. And uh, with that, um, let's see, we're looking to adjourn, motion to adjourn by Ermeli. Uh, future, future items. Uh, future items. Can you read? I can. Yeah, those are the future but, items. But right June 1st is not on there, so oh, in case yeah. anybody missed June that. June 1st is coming. Yep. We're going to have that happen right along that. It'll be June 2nd and June 3rd. So we have all that happening. So second and third months and the third of this. And right, looking for an adjourn by Ermeli. I am definitely punch drunk. Second. And, uh, second by Cronin. All those in favor say aye. 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 Both. Still carried. Good job, everybody. Hello.